Oh. What should I have one or two games with while we wait for people to get in here? Um. Hmm. What have you got built? You got everything? Bit play anything? Yeah, um... I can't play anything. Why not play a bit of Buzzgarb? Because I don't like Buzzgarb. Why not play the winning list from this weekend? I really don't like that. <laughs> um, I don't know. Play some Mally. Play some kind of Mally. Okay. Team Om, hello. Hey, polymerization, how's it going? Don't you want a Fanta? What a great name. <laughs> how's it going? Mad Captain as well. Welcome. I imagine the sea is a clown. Mm. <laughs> Off the top of my head. What's nailed that? Hmm? There's a deck above Psychic Mario that was just nailed that. <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh, I don't have Psychic Lele. That's why I haven't been testing Mali Shrine online. Okay, let's not spend our lives trading for a Psychic Lele then. What was nailed that? It was when we were doing like post-rotation lists. This is going to be... I think it's a Kiawe deck. Yeah, it is. It sucks. Definitely didn't nail that. Right. <laughs> Played a good zero games with that deck. Uh, we'll just play regular Psychic Mally for a bit. Let me just make some changes. I want to put in a second Dawn Wings for a start. Nailed it, mate. Completed it, mate. Uh, what do I need to put in here? Oh, shadow. Doomsday, thank you so much for the sub. Hey. Back to the Jimmy Club. Indeed you Cheers, are. Connor. Happy Welcome birthday back. as well. Oh yes, happy birthday to you, dude. Let loose Marshall there. Charlie said it performed pretty well for him. So I guess we'll put it in for now. But should I keep the... Should I keep the monkey and the marshadow? Nah, I'm actually just going to cut marshadow and be greedy. Friend ball? Yeah, I can add in a friend ball. Friend ball seems super Get some good. spread poison barb. That's some pretty spicy action right there. <laughs> Alright, let's go for a couple of games with this quickly. Today we are going to be doing... Trump reviews, Trump reviews. Yeah, a review of our review to see how close we were with Celestial Storm. So that should be fun. These usually highlight a few blunders along the way, but hopefully this process gets us closer and closer every time. They're a little ego boost as well, because sometimes we do it right. And we can compare with the community as well. We could almost... Maybe we could have a running, uh, like a tally of us v ooh, the community ooh. ratings and see who ooh. ends up better. <laughs> this is risky because I haven't actually looked at this. But uh, that could be fun. Plus, it'll be our own bias anyway. So if we want to win, we can win. <laughs> <laughs> Genius! Don't tell him that. Did I hear that zero Dragon Majesty cards made day two? That's pretty crazy as a stat. Zero cards. Incredible. That's pretty yikes. I mean, it is a collector set. Not enough people playing uh, Quagsire, in my opinion. Too much Vicaray for Quagsire. 
Mm. There was a handful of people playing Quagsire. I remember yeah, walking I spotted around a couple around day one, but there was a lot of Delmise around, unfortunately. They were probably being bopped by the little anchors, weren't they? So we're up against Honchkrow Coco Weavile, which is actually a really bad matchup for us. I faced this in the in the tournament and it absolutely destroyed me. And this also has a pretty bad matchup because we are ability reliant with 60 HP Pokemons that go into 90 HP Pokemons with abilities that can get rule of evil. And we have a Dark Weak GX as our mid-range attacker and a other attacker which has to keep discarding from itself. So we need to get the Deoxys out in full force and keep hitting Psychic Energies every turn. That sounds... Sounds easy enough. Great. Right? Sounds excellent. We're going to need to keep this... Uh, I'm going to have to play the Acro first. We don't need those. They absolutely suck in this matchup. I've literally just cut to one stretcher as well. I'm looking at it now like, oh my god, I want to cycle four Deoxys this game. <laughs> <laughs> and I might have to discard the treasure, uh, the stretcher, but I won't. I'll be a little bit careful, I guess. Let's casually put down a GX Pokemon. Why no shuffle draw at all? We are playing Shuffle Draw. We play Cynthia. We just can't interact with the opponent. Because we have our own combat mechanic in the GX attack. Heavy Tortoise, how's it going? Still streaming on Windows 95. Yeah, the new, the new PC hasn't arrived yet. Should be any day now, though. I'm hoping by the weekend I'll I'll have it. Didn't face a single ray, a Vika ray, in that many rounds. That's insane. You mean? I hit them all. It's a good matchup for Buzzrock. Mm, yeah, it's. You shouldn't it's be angry right. at facing that. It's alright when they don't high roll. It felt like it didn't matter what they were playing against, to be fair, so I wasn't too mad. They just did their thing and did it super well. <laughs> this is the first one in a while. I've come away with a trash record and really not been that bothered because I just couldn't do anything to some of the matchups. And I got my fair share of high roll stuff anyway. It was just in the wrong matchups. Embarrassing. Misplay. Don't run up at the monkey down. It's just going to get us hurt. We don't want to be hurt. That doesn't sound good. Oh, re. No blooming, fuming. Uh, what do you call it? I have a cat in my face. No blooming fuming. I have a cat in my face. The skateboards. Is Robin Zora Controllist the play for Memphis? I mean, he didn't do well. I, I think I also say. saw on his Twitter today. He said it was kind of Come on, uh, built super quickly. So I don't think it's. Ideal. I 
Look at that one. is working can't wait to march again Ugh. Ugh. that's all I have to say on the matter stop it's you I know I'm telling myself to stop oh, for f <laughs> I hate this stupid deck why do I ever test this see you later mate absolutely terrible Oh, I lost. Well done. Had enough of Honcho Coco for a little while. Yeah. Hey, Mark. Ah. Uh. Fuming. Maybe I should put a fourth skateboard in here. <laughs> it's just that you lose one turn against a Coco deck and you just lose the game. It's so stupid. I lost two turns. <laughs> Embarrassing. Gumi Mill, well, you are about to get crumbed, aren't you, buddy? You hit the energy acceleration deck, whoops. You haven't conceded, and I'm very confused at the fact you haven't conceded. Good flying bird, how's it going? Take out that field blower. Blower's a good card. Two turn deck. Oh, please play some two turns. Will I be testing Buzz today? Uh, no. It's only going to be really short testing today because we'll be doing the set review review for the most part. Mm hmm. I was going to have a quick look before we started, but I think I'm going to. Wait and just see, see, see how it goes. Oh, it's the hustle belt ram broken. Killed our first Inke. Look at this, incredible! Busted. Didn't even play around it. Hustle belt poggers. Yeah, I don't think it matters. I think we can beat 70 damage a turn. I don't know, dude. 70 is a big number. We'll have to wait and see. Edge of my seat gameplay. <clears throat> in before Lance Altarius, oh yes. It very well could be Lance Altaria. One ten a turn. Ooh. Pog champ. What's a safe play, in our opinion, for a cup? Um, 
I mean, I've got two cups this weekend, and Buzz Rock felt super safe last weekend, so I'm going to stick with that. I think it's fine. You may need to make a couple of adaptations just to not lose mill, but it feels like one of the decks where you can just put one card in pretty much and you don't use mill. Um, it depends how much you you respect people playing the mill stuff as well, because Zoro is always safe. I think, to an extent. I really like the list I profiled yesterday. The Zoro, yeah. Zoro Buzz Buzz. Rock. Oh, I've just closed something I didn't mean to close. Whoops, what was that? Huh, I guess I'll never know. Oh, look at that busted deck thinning. She married away the hustle belt. That doesn't sound like the right move. Come on, I'm a Malamar deck. Come on. You think energy removal is your ally? Admirable. Mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Embarrassing. Should have just hit me. Hit me for more damage. <clears throat> slug slug slugums <laughs> mm. Oof, everybody hustling So many cups this weekend. There's like four, five cups this weekend. have Guzmas for if he does set up this big combo. Let's get rid of some stuff that we don't need. Omni reviews, Omni reviews. Slimy stuff dot deck. Yeah, just a slug lover. When I was a little Lego bricks on Stack Attacker, are they all eyes? Or is it, are they just like fake eyes and it has that one eye in the middle? I think they're all eyes, aren't they? It's quite creepy. Watch out for that wink wink. That rinky dinky winky pinky. Stop. Stop. Jack, we're talking about Pokemon here, okay? I know. Can you, you stay like on fool. topic, please? I'm just looking at Stack Attacker, mate. We're professionals, yeah? <laughs> no comment. 
can't a man just say I'm not gonna <laughs> <laughs> Try it, go on one more time without laughing. <laughs> How hard is it? To say. <laughs> uh. Evening, Wax Zach. Welcome. How's it going? How hard is it? <laughs> My also Lego welcome. Come on, mate, you gotta choose your own Pokemon to move out of the way. Yeah, get rid of that sluggy. Sluggy sluggy. Activated my trap guard. You can train home from work, nice. Jeez, that's pretty rough though. That's a long day. Those are unreasonable hours. Skull grunt broken. Oh, even Wink Wink does nothing. Got to earn the money to play Pokemon. Mm-hmm. This guy does like looking at the hand. That's... Why doesn't he just play gum shoes? What? My question. <laughs> Are either of us going to Lille? Jack, you going? I'm going. I'm currently arranging it as we speak. Oh, hey. I'm going too. So, yes, oh. we're both going. Incredible. So, neither of us are going. Nah, we'll both be there Friday to Sunday. driving right oh uh, yeah well I'm getting a lift with Scott yeah, yeah, yeah. you're traveling via motor vehicle I'm traveling to Luke who's traveling to Scott who's traveling us to Leo Christ sounds good You need to attack with the Deoxys just because there is the Hustle Belt memory that I don't be can't be bothered to deal with at this point. <clears throat> What's hilarious is even decks like these, like Shrine, just adds up so much damage that like random stuff can still beat you. It's so weird. He's done one attack, no two attacks with Ram, and I'm still scared because Shrine is so ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Card busted. I'd say it's a solid three star card. At best. <laughs> From... No! <laughs> it's all gone wrong. Uh... Oh. Hello, Demo Pablo. Oh, I'm switching streams. I'm watching Pablo now. I'll give you insight into what's in his hand, don't worry. 
Not worried anyway, mate. We got this. Oh, he's got adverts on. I've got to support him to cheat. Embarrassing. Fine. Going Fine. first, is it best for us to lead in K? I think it is, right? Hmm. Wonder what type of Pokemon deck we're going to be facing. As always playing League of Legends. Incredible. Yeah. Ah, Buzzwall. Welcome to pain. Stream sniping. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> tech cues in both chats. I'm watching him chat in both chats. <laughs> uh, we don't want either of these cards, so it's the same outcome. Huzzah! In before B string high roll. Yeah. Can happen. These things can happen. No friend ball value. We've already got rid of our two Martians. Not a bad turn one. Got an energy in the bin. Got an energy on our main attacker. Seems good. Seems good. Take a look at that debt box. Oh no. E high rolled beast? So savage. No. If he's playing the Zorak build, we're gonna have to stretch it back our uh, little Martians. Martians. Incredible. High rolled beast, boys. Unreal. Look at that bench. <clears throat> Look at that beast energy. Turn one. Just add it. That's a Just big feels space. good, man. Just add space. Uh, I mean, the top eight list did play weakness policy, so we should play around that. We should burn a friend ball that does nothing. Um, I think we need to keep Blur in the deck. That's a big old yikes from me. Stop yikesing. <laughs> oh no, he's going to kill our only Malamar, isn't he? That would just be the worst. Let's invade his personal space. Mosquito GX. Gonna kill our only Malamar, it's gonna be super sad. <clears throat> oh look, those things I said I was scared of happening happened. <clears throat> oh, crumbs. <clears throat> That's three NKs down. And we need to use our stretcher on and the two Marsh Marsh Shadows. Shadows. Embarrassing. Oh, crumbs. So you know we said about that second rescue stretcher. We got this. Easy money. Easy life. Oh no! <laughs> Come on, uh, three. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> That's another. I hate using I hate overusing the word big old yikes, but my goodness. He he predicted it. He said that looks like it was a double inky. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. Okay. I 
That's a yikes from me. Yeah. Stop yikesing, chat. Don't <laughs> encourage him. Riles me up. Absolutely riles me up. Okay. The Let's only thing is, he's think. only got one Zorite down. So if he starts getting lots of Zoruas, we definitely lose. But if he doesn't, we can win. B-string shenanigans are still on the table as well. If he just B-strings this, we lose, right? Acro, yike. Yeah, if he DC is active, B-strings bench, we lost. So if he, can, if he just mallows right now for those two cards, we lose. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's a big old... Yikes. Crumbs. That's a That's big a old well played from right me. There. Tim, I will ban you <laughs> from the channel. I will I will make sure you don't watch any more videos on the channel. Embarrassing. Is there any way? Our cap is one eight uh, one ninety. So we can pris if we prismatic burst his Boswell somehow. We ultra ball this. No, I'd have to top deck a. Oh my god. Okay. Ah. Uh. Can we do it with this? Yes, right, we can. We do this. Grab this. Do I have Mimikyu? No. Do we just go R in? R in. <laughs> He's only got one Zara luck, right? <laughs> like, yeah, killing the Malamar wins in the game every time, or getting Choice Fan two Pokemon wins in the game every time, but come on. What if he has none of them? Crumbs. <laughs> I'm looking at his hand, Joe. <laughs> I knew I lost a long time ago, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> what if he has none of them, he says? He That's a nothing. big old love heart. See you later from me. I think he has about four outs, but there wasn't much he could do. Yeah, embarrassing. Well, I've learnt that when you see a buzzword in this day and age, we can't just throw away our Mar Shadows. And I need to put two stretches back into this list, because after taking one out in the first three games I've had, I've wanted it every time in yeah. all those games. So, yeah. Yeah, look, yeah, I can yeah, just yeah. see you later, mate. Friend balls went absolute trash. Uh, maybe it's a small sample size, but we'll go up to four. I was going to say, no one's, skateboard. no one's played Lay Laser down against you. Really? That'll do. Uh, let's put the... Do I put the Mimikyu back in? Nah, this is fine. This is... This is fine. Oh, if he clicks in the next, like, two seconds, you might... <laughs> you might get a rematch. Ah, oh, never lucky. Never been lucky. I feel like Mimikyu gives me plays. It does, Waterino. but when I test... When I tested this list, I, uh... I found that you clog a lot with Pokemon with this list. Mm -hmm. Safe play for a challenge. I mean, to find safe play, like Vicaray feels like the safest deck, I guess. 
doesn't have any bad matchup. Like, what's bad? What's its bad matchup? Instead, loses to Tex, which is so much less likely in small events, I think. Its worst matchup is like Buzz Weavile, but people can't play Buzz Weavile because of Buzz Garb. They play a 1 1 Weavile, sure, but you can beat that. It's da -da -da. Sorted. Uses detect cues. Zoropod, huh? Huh? Pal? You think you're smart, huh? Oh, Pablo destroyed us, then gives us the host for 81 views. <laughs> Cheers, Pablo. <laughs> oh, dear. Insane. <clears throat> Now, if we were a good boy and actually played uh, played Mewtwo GX, we could bop Azurua. Welcome everyone from Pablo's stream. It's the least I could do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely thought it was just Buzz Rock and threw away some pretty important cards. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Pogs. Crumbs. What do we do here? I think we just pass here. By the way, I really do like that Buzzwall Zoroark deck. I think it's insane. Do I think that's a good play? Yes, Quick Jam. I'm going to a cup as well, and I'm playing that list. Because I think it's very good. Uh, I don't have energy in here, do I? Mm -mm. It's weird watching Azul play other games. Why? I don't know, I just didn't know he was a League of Legends type of guy. Shifu Sani, thanks for following, and Catamount Gaming, thank you so much for following as well. Hey, welcome. You again, just need more and more Mallies. Did I change anything from the list? No. It's broken. It's busted. Perfect 60. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I did really enjoy playtesting it yesterday. I was streaking with it. So I think the list is solid. Oh, crumbs. We need an attachment. Playing Dragon Quest, I've seen a lot of Jack playing Isaac, seeing like around to play everything with Pokemon. I've already been enjoying Isaac Lothan. It's just something I can play for like 20 minutes, have it run and then stop. They're hoping that his four card hand isn't excellent. That would be bad for us. Uh, I can't watch this guy, I can't stream start this guy for you, Joe. <clears throat> it didn't work, did it? Just you telling me, oh, he's got all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> I, should, I should have typed in chat. I should have just given, given him false information. He actually plays four Marshadow, so play, don't play around it. Yeah. Mojo Dolo, 1226. Thank you so much for following as well. Ah, his hand was ass. Okay. Excellent Nectar. news. <clears throat> Good thing we have two stretcher. Yeah, you're not wrong. 
made the change. Oh, oh I hate Valamor so much. I'm actually just done. I just can't be bothered to play this deck anymore. It draws so bad every time I play it. Oh my god. So disgusting. Let me just high roll for a minute. Jesus. Need to get this out of my system. Do I do viewer battles? We haven't done viewer battles in a while. Maybe we'll have a stream in the next couple of weeks where we uh, where we take on the viewers for a whole stream. Mm -hmm. We haven't done it for a while, though. I can see a... <clears throat> I, know, I know of a stream in the next couple of weeks where it would work. There we go, guys. Embrace the high roll. There it is. No music? Nah, we upload to YouTube, so we don't play music a lot of the time. Stuck with our lovely voices. Just us. And the soft slash very loud purrings of a cat. Poopism. Where are you? Can you not hear her? No. She's in my lap. But unfortunately, she's sat on the arm that I would use to move the camera down. She's teched for you. No photography, please. Um, Re-review after this? Yeah. I'm excited. I'm super excited. Playing like Big one game of Malamar, I knew it's not for me. Big old set. Um... I've had five games of Malamar today. Oh, I saw us at Frankfurt. Didn't want to say hi. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty... No I stand out a little bit, you know. <laughs> There's a few features that, uh, that you can pick up on here and there. The music would cover the noise of joy. That's true. Did I see Zorro, uh, Robin's Zorro Mill list? Yeah, I did. I did. I don't think it's that strong. I mean, for a Zorro deck. I think there's better Zorro decks you could be playing. I'll be going to Portland. No, we're not going to Portland. Staying in the UK. We really haven't looked at Expanded. I need to do a big video exploring Expanded again. It's a feature, feature I do like really, really sporadically, but it's a feature I really do enjoy looking at because it really does... It, it's really cool to spend like two weeks looking in depth at a meta that I'm just so unfamiliar with. It's like coming back into the game after being away from it for a long time. It's really refreshing to have a look at that. And uh, I think there's a lot of changes thanks to the bands and mm. new sets coming out and stuff so i'm gonna say by the time we probably get around to it we'll have two new sets to look at as well yeah plus the bands which were all very impactful so should be good yeah. Yeah. expanded the expanded tournaments in is it three weeks time or is it just two weeks away I might have to get uh, a, three weeks. I think there's three weeks away. I, I think there's two weeks in between Memphis and that, or one. I'll have to get a move on and start looking at the expanded meta. LT Surge, you have no idea what to play in expanded. Yeah, I haven't seen many content creators start to do expanded stuff yet. I guess they'll get this weekend out of the way. Yeah. And then there'll be a huge think. wave of expanded stuff going on. Yeah, October 26th. There it is. Domfan. Yeah, Shrine is a good card for Domfan. Shrine's a good card for a lot of decks. Expand is really fun, very refreshing. Yeah, and with Gets has gone, combo decks can sort of come back in some form. Obviously, there's still Trash Lanch to punish them. But if you can have like a non-GX combo variant, that could be pretty powerful. Oh, become an expanded only content creator. Please, Mark. 
That's Vikabulu with Aether Paradise. Okay. They all play Aether Paradise, I'm telling you. I wouldn't. Clogs up your spaces for order pads. Embarrassing. <laughs> the deck's so much clunkier than Vika Ray. You need to play order pads. I'm not even memeing. It's actually correct. Greninja Shrine. Yeah. It's too good for that deck. Uh, we could Ultra Ball out another Ray and then get a Lele after that. Have a guaranteed extra Ray attachment. I think that covers us for if we miss Baton. Because I do play Batons in this list. So this gets us an extra attachment, even if we don't get the baton off the Lele for six. Actually, well, I can guarantee this... baton, can't I, with Faulkner? Yeah. But baton basically guarantees game, in my opinion. Actually, maybe not, because we're knocking out a non-GX. Well, I always gets this banned. Uh, it's uninteractive, and people can lose from it on turn one. Like, it's fundamentally a pretty similar reason why Hex was, because it's just something that your opponent can do that you can't control. You could lose turn one to someone hexing you as well. It was less likely because you could just play a Pokemon down, but if your hand was just items, you know. Could have got double v and just Tempest? I don't think that's correct, though. Oh, my God. Because we could do this now. <laughs> And just go absolutely bonkers on him. Disgusting. You haven't. Oh my god, Joe. Why didn't you play this this weekend? God, I'm so good at this game. I mean, we can still definitely lose this because this attack doesn't effectively do anything. Yeah, but at the same time, that was a broken turn. So you've won in, you've won in spirit. Yeah. Nice order, Joe, using Ray before Lele. We already had energy in the discard pile. Do I think bet uh, Delmise is better than Lugia? Delmise hits for weakness on Lycan Rocks, which is really valuable. And Lapras is. And Lapras is. Um. But the Shining League is better for the um, buzz. buzz, so I play one of each. Both are annoying. So we strong charge once. Yeah. Then we attach, then we let loose. So we can strong charge the second time to get the knockout. Because we need to get into Recycler. Three, four, five, six, and then we strong charge. Or we can just do the martial now. We just need to not draw back into the two energy cards. Which we miraculously didn't do. Don't want to put some rays back into the deck. Not really. We can keep a stretcher for later. How does the Zygarde GX help with the Sylveon matchup with Zora Buzz? Uh, you keep using Cell Connector. <laughs> and it means you're putting pressure on every single turn. And all their hammers and stuff is just... Wasted effort, right?
How does Gardevoir beat Ray? Tries to get as many Guardies up as possible. Makes it hard for Ray to one hit KO if they're losing all their energies every turn. Mm -hmm. It very much can lose, though. If you play Sylveon, it's relatively likely that you'll win, though. So we need to Guzma up the the Vika Vault here. Guzma Vika Vault, kill it with our Vika Vault. Sounds pretty good. And kill it with our Ray. He can only I mean, he can get another Vika Vault out, but... Yeah, we need to bring up the Vika Vault. Uh, we need to attack with our Vika Vault, sorry. Back on a meme car. I mean, field blowers in low enough counts where it's fine. Top deck goes, I already have thingy in hand. I already have Lele. Don't hate. It's like we were Captain meant to be Guzma. together. Me and, me and Captain Guz go way back. Uh, I need to keep enough energy in the deck that I can still burst out a ray if I need to. So I shouldn't actually get all these, but... I think we'll just... I mean, realistically, how does he kill us? Actually, if he kills the two-price Pokemon, we lost. So we, we just pull these out. Wait, this is only basics, right? Oh my god, please only be basics. Oh. Oh, I almost had a big yikes. <laughs> that would have been incredible. I was like, wait a minute, there's a little picture here that I need to remember. So he needs... Candy Vika attachment Guzma. Yikesing all over the place tonight, yeah. I'm really tired today. I don't know why. How can you attach the second energy to Lele? Did you attach second energy to Lele? Or did I miss that? I mean, if Guzma's a two prizer, I lose the game. Oh, yeah, you've got the Rose 3. Okay. Because the green blends in, it looks like you've the raise and you got one. But no, it makes sense. Between Joe and Jack, who would get top bunk? Jack would get top bunk. I'm a bottom bunk man, all the way. Especially because of my leg, I can't climb anymore. Strictly no climbing. <laughs> Secretly, Joe wants top bunk, but he just has to settle for bottom bunk. Because yeah. he's not allowed there anymore. It would only make sense. If I was on top bunk, there's a much higher chance that the top bunk breaks and then we're both in Crumb City. Crumb City. It's only logical that Jack goes top bunk. <clears throat> Good question, though. Oh, that would, that would have been such a perfect... Here's a plug for you. That would have been such a perfect question for our Q&A in two weeks' time. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> two weeks? What was one week? Well, like a week and a half. Wait, what? Games next Wednesday. Q&A a week on Monday. Because we've got Memphis on Monday, Monday. Oh, yeah, you're right. Nectar. So, Wait, what are we doing um, on Wednesday? Fun and games, right? Electric Blue Oh, Blue. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Was that, was that a subtle plug for... <laughs> That as well. No, no, no. I was genuinely because I thought we were doing everything on the Wednesday. We can have. Uh, games I don't know the how long time. your I don't know how long your boogaloo is, but I think because we do shorter streams now, it'd be better to split it up rather yeah. than try and brush it all. In my opinion, at least. You right. Um. 
Right, let me let me get the link for the boogaloo. How do I do this? You have a big list of opinion or options for catchphrase. Okay. I'll speak to you in the week. Right, there we go. We high rolled as I knew I would. So just before we start this, there's a little form I've just popped in the the chat. Um, for Family Fortunes 2, Electric Boogaloo, which is going to be happening a week today. We're going to have some special guests, uh, as it will be our two-year anniversary of streaming. Bog, bog. So that'll be a week on Wednesday. That'll be the 10th of the 10th. Write that in your diaries. Um, and then on the 15th of the 10th, we're going to do another Q&A for a couple of hours where it's not going to be any gameplay because there's no big regionals the day before. So there's no uh, results to look at and stuff Im immediately. So it makes sense to do it that weekend uh, or that week. We're going to just sit and chat and probably have some banana sandwiches and all the good stuff we did last year. Well, we're going to take questions from you guys as well. Um, oh, why are none of these working? Ah! I, will, I will find a way. If you want to send questions in there the Omnipoke Discord um, or on Facebook or wherever, just find a way of sending us questions. We'll collate them and we'll either ask them ourselves or see if we can get someone to why won't you be oh, question so master. Melon. Meanwhile, Joe's going to get angry with technology again. Oh, my God. So I do this, and it goes full screen onto my other screen, which is really triggering. So if you go to your... Ro I, I mean, I'm behind on the stream, but if you go... You see, see where it says on the PowerPoint, tell me what you want. Below that, it says primary monitor. Change that to secondary monitor. Let's try that. Oh, Jack. You're too good at this. Wasted here. Right. <clears throat> Still never revealed the old Family Fortunes question. questions. We can have a look at them today, actually. Can we? Not that quickly we finish this. Possibly. If not, you, could re if not, you can u just use them next time. It's an old format, though. Anyway. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Anyway. Free review. Yeah. So remember, this Celestial Storm review was based on the Worlds format. So the current standard format was Worlds at the time, free Worlds. Mm -hmm. There was some consideration to an expanded and post rotation. But remember, before you absolutely slay us for some of these ratings, they were for Worlds. Okay. So yeah, today we'll be yeah, looking yeah. at not only how close we were to the correct answer, correct answer. Um, but we'll also be sort of re, uh, re-rating them to some extent in terms of where they fit now in the new standard. So, mm -hmm. so, let's go. Uh, Apricorn Maker is the first one. We rated one star. It was obviously terrible pre, uh, pre-rotation. So yeah obvious right answer there i'm just shifting some stuff around don't mind me um <clears throat> one thing we did say in the video was that fan club would be played over apricorn maker what we've seen in the post standard is that there's still the debate going on apricorn mm -hmm. uses more item cards which is bad for garbador but it thins the deck theoretically of two cards that you can't draw into later on so um in the new standard it's a debatable, like, three or four star card. Maybe a three I'd star say, card. I'd say it's three. My initial it's a sometimes mindset in is two or three. I think it's three. I think eventually... Well, I don't think this debate will ever be finalised because there'll be diehard fans on one side or the other, but I think, in general, most people prefer fan club at the moment. Yeah, I think fan club so is... I think three is fair. Yeah. Fan club or no club type of guy. Yeah, I mean, plus the Apricorn Maker goes back to insignificance again once Elm comes out. So 
this brief window of poor supporters has given him some means of. Um, do you think fan club play. does as well? Do I think fan club goes in the binder? Yeah, or do you think it's still played in certain archetypes? I honestly think that Elm is so powerful that the seventy HP stuff just it won't, get won't played be played anymore. over the sixty HP stuff. Elm is just yeah. too good. Yeah. Uh, let's get. But what us... about the things things like Ray? Because Ray plays like one fan club sometimes. Do you think it's still? Ray can play fan club. Yeah, okay. yeah it's absolutely fine for Ray. Yeah. Cool. School. Oh, the scoreboard's back. Hello. It's going to be so weird when Elm comes out. It's going to be so weird. It's going to be great. Oh, yeah, I think it'll be good, but, like... So, Omnipoke won Community Nil so far. <laughs> we nailed it. It was terrible for worlds. <laughs> Correct. Bill's Maintenance. No score, obviously terrible. Trash. Still terrible. Trash. Copycat. We rated 3 out of 5. Community rated 4 star. So if anything, it's a win for us. Because for Worlds, it saw very little play. <laughs> like, very little play. Um, I can't think of many decks that um, that actually wants to use, that wanted to play Copycat at Worlds. Can't think of many. Um... Looking at post rotation, uh, it's been a reasonable card. It's in some Malamar lists as a one of. It's in a couple decks here and there. I think it's not unfair to call it a two star. I think yeah, I was going to say I don't think you call it much more than a two star though, because at the same time as yes, it's seeing a little bit of play, we're also in such a supporter drought, and it's still not seeing an excessive amount of play. Mm -hmm. Even um, with Lily, Tempest, Algorithm, it's still not yeah. seeing a huge amount of play, which is... Yeah. People would rather judge and stop their opponent than do the same as their opponent, which is interesting, actually. Yeah. Surprising, because Copycat has been a 4 of in formats before, so... Mm. And, like, you'd think if you saw someone Tempest, rather than stop them doing what they want, you could Tempest without using your GX attack. Busted. But at the same time, they didn't get two big bottles out and you lose, so... Mm hmm Okay. Lysia saw, I think, zero play at Worlds. I don't sure. remember it seeing play, and Pretty I don't sure it think it's seen play, play since. I think it's seen zero play the whole time. Um, Except for Luke Kirkham. He loves the card. So, <laughs> that's only poke three community nil, just because we're more harsh than the general community so far. We don't sit on the fence. We actually go ahead and say bad cards are bad. Um... One note for Lycia, with the new stadiums coming out, and more, as more prisms get into the prize pool, Lycia becomes a more reasonable card. So, mm -hmm. imagine lycia for Coco Prism and that's Thunder Mountain Stadium. That sounds pretty good, because those are like the two biggest cards to use in that All deck. deck yeah. So, uh, Lycia may be going up to a two-star eventually, but definitely not for Worlds. <laughs> Okay, Steven's decision. I think we get like a 75 star bonus for being bang on on this one. Community, what were you thinking? This was terrible for Worlds. Absolutely useless. But we do have to give some credits to a few decks out there using Steven's right now. Steven's was in the second place v list this weekend. It was also a four of, or a three of, I think, in... Sanders Steelix Warlord deck. So um it's seeing play in lists right now. It's probably like a two to three star. I think three is fair. I think it's a it's a generous three but a harsh two. It's in that sort of annoying middle yeah. line where I'm, I'm happy to I think I'm happy to call it a three because I think now people have done it, it will probably be it will probably float in and out as a one count while it's around. And I think that's fair enough to call it a three. But again, it's it's in a place in the game right now where shuffle disruption is terrible and supporters are terrible. So it's yeah, only I mean, seeing we, play yeah, because of if that. If we ever get N back, like this becomes trash again. But right now, for the next, like we know we're not really getting any shuffle draw in the next set as well. So probably for the next three to four months, this is still going to float in as a one or two of. 
By the way, I do disagree with it being a one-off in Vika Ray. Just saying. <laughs> but yeah. Tay and Liza, we rated two star. Community say three star. For Worlds, I again don't think it saw a huge amount of play. Um, we gave it credit. Were, uh, were Buzzgarb playing it? Were the Australian Buzzgarb? Uh, yeah, so early Buzzgarb list played Tay and Liza, but it's been pretty much phased out with the New Age builds of just oh yeah, I know Kakui I Engine, World... Orangaroo, stuff like that. I think for yeah, it was it was more popular for Worlds. No, I don't think now... it was. I don't think it was popular for Worlds. I think it was popular I just thought, like... after Worlds. The Buzzgarbs just after Worlds were playing Tay and Liza, but not mm, before. Maybe, maybe because we had Floatstone. Everyone just played Float. Oh yeah, of course, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it was, it was like... immediately after Worlds where the Buzzgar players still did yeah. well at um, Thingy, but they didn't have a full Magcargo oh, engine. Yeah. So Fair. Omnipoke five nil. This is a slaughtering, guys. We actually know what we're talking about sometimes. Like incredible. Um, right now, I would place it still at a two. I think it's an experimental card if you need an extra supporter and you have chunky Pokemon. I don't think it's staple by any means, but yeah. Anyway, TV Reporter, it's a no-score game. Everyone knows this is bad and still bad. I've seen it played in one deck. Go on. Hold on. It was an Ultra Mally. Yeah. Successful? Um, I beat it. One star. <laughs> Thanks. Good. I'm going to go next to Bish. Uh, 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 go on. Next. One, one more try. It's <laughs> not even worth me talking about. Not even worth getting the words out of my mouth, that card. <laughs> Acrobike. You said four star. This could even be a harsh four star. It could actually be bumped up to a five, to be fair. Played in a lot of Macargo engines. And it was a four of in Turbo Rays that was... You know, one of the best decks at Worlds. So, I think looking at it right now, post rotation, it's still a very strong card. It's not in a lot of decks, so maybe four is just fine. I think four is fair, but it's, it's not a... heavily played in Malamar, played in Orangaroo, Mag Cargo Engines, which is Buzzrock and uh, Buzzgarb Shrine. Played a four of in Lapras Quagsire. So, I mean, come on. How many more tier one decks do you need? <laughs> yeah, it could be a, it could be arguably a five star card in the current meta. I think mm, I think it's. A... <sighs> I mean, for Worlds, it got to the final with Malamar. Technically, I don't know if that's a legal result. I mean, does that mean N is not a five star card because it didn't? I mean, it was fortunately it was fortunately in the winners list. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, one of in Steelix destroy a king you're absolutely right my man yeah. I think it's <laughs> incredible I, I think it's a high four I think it's yeah it's teetering on the it's arguably five but like five still has like Lele in the back of my mind that kind of card and it feels yeah I don't know yeah it's it's hard it's hard it's super hard to anyway no score there because we're the same as community Crisis Potion we gave the one star it saw no play at Worlds. Literally Correct. zero. Community were a bit more hopeful. I think the only thing to keep an eye out for with Crisis Potion is the Don fan that's rock. coming out. Oh. Well, unfortunately, we lost puzzles for, uh, for that. So, yeah. Energy Recycle System. We rated two star. Again, community a bit more hopeful. I think this has been an underperformer, to be fair. Yeah. Um, I think... I mean, it's not really staple in any deck at the moment. There's still a lot of special energy-reliant decks out there right now, personally. Energy Recycle System, not enough energy cards to be warranted over... Um, energy... Just... What's it called? Not Energy Recycler. Is it just Energy... Yeah, Energy Recycler in the Vika Ray stuff, which is the big, like basic energy deck that we have in the format right now yeah literally so, one of the only decks i can think of putting this in right now is buzz rock yeah we've had it in buzz rock experimentally then we just said we want extra energy cards physically instead and 
I was just saying yesterday with the Zoro Buzz rock list, if you play one of these, it lets you trade away the fighting energies, so it makes the deck a bit smoother, but there's not really a space for it anyway. So, um, yeah, I think even calling it a two-star was generous. It's all, like, no play at Worlds. And yeah, it's, like it's seeing world, almost yeah. no play at the moment as well, which is surprising. Mm. It feels like it's a card that's got a lot of potential, though. Like, I think it will see play at some point if we get another big energy deck that isn't... Like, because the only other big energy deck right now, or the two, is Vicare, which, like you say, you need more energy cards than just three. Mm. And Malamar, which has inbuilt recovery. So I think it's still got potential, but right now there's just not the right deck for it. Mm -hmm. So Omnipoke doing well so far. Friend Ball. We rated one star. I think oh, on Worlds dear. it did nothing. Yeah, true, true, true. Um... Pretty sure I didn't see play for Worlds at all. I don't think any of the Mallies were playing it yet. Two star rated by the community again. It's a generous... It's just the community are wanting cards to be better than they are a lot of the time. Um, looking at the current meta, potential three star card. I think it's more than just an experimental card at this point. It's near staple in Malamar lists as like a two of... It's in some Zorark variants alongside or as opposed to Great Bull based on what sort of basics you're playing. Mm. So, um, our ratings correct looking at the world's format, but um, looking at post rotation, the friend ball has seen a lot more play. What would you rate this now? I think it's harsh to call it a two star, so I just call it a three star card yeah, because it's, it's featuring in top tier decks sometimes. I actually think it's a good card in those decks as well. I think it's a very good card in those decks. I it's, think it's quite it... meh. It's not like it's easily it can easily be cut for higher performing cards in the future. It's not like it'll stay. Yeah, in the of deck. course. But I think like like we saw Zoro Rock with Great Ball do well, and I think some people would argue it's better than Great Ball. Yeah, the argument's there to be made. It'll be interesting if we look at um, Limitless, like, the statistics on what saw more play, Friend Ball or Great Ball. You can look at that yourselves on their website or whatever. I'm going to do that right now. But yeah, um, there's definitely an argument for both or a mixture of the two based on your Pokemon counts and if like the different types of your Pokemon as well. Is Lele the main target for this ball, or are there any other cards? It's really that if your opponent puts down a Lele, your friend ball is basically always live, and otherwise, if you're in a mirror, it's always live. If you're playing Rockruff, then facing any Buzzwall deck or mirror, it's live. If you're playing Zoro mirrors, the Zoro is alive. If you're playing Malamar, Lele makes the whole deck live, so... Yeah. It's pretty reasonable. Definitely reasonable in Malamar. Definitely. And... Worth consideration in uh, in Zorark for sure. Hustle Belt, we gave the one star. It's achieved pretty much nothing apart from some spicy Heracross lists for cups. So it's another win for us. Hazar, we had the Magikarp on the screen as an activator for the rainbow. We missed Gumi. Aww. We missed Gumi. Feels bad, man. Oh, I think that's a point deducted for us. We Don't be Gumi. silly. Don't be silly, Jack. Gumi's done nothing. Gumi's broken. Um, but yeah, we didn't put... Um... Uh, we didn't put Heracross, which is like the only combo that it's come out. Give the community one for the friend ball? No, because for Worlds it did nothing. Which is what we said. And we were rating for Worlds. But we can't discredit them for seeing more potential in the card for later don't, on. Don't worry, the community will be getting some very, very good It's not going to be It's not going to be a clean sweep for Omnipoke, don't you worry. <laughs> we, we've had a little look. And... <laughs> oh dear, it might be an even game by the end of this. <laughs> Life Herb, Life everyone agrees, trash. is terrible. Yeah. Lure Ball, I don't know why anyone rated this more than one star because of how good Stretcher is. I mean, that's just basic. That's just... Come on, community. Lurble will never see play in a world of Rescue Stretcher unless it's a deck that requires four Rescue Stretcher and Lurbles on top of that. There we go. Return label didn't actually get printed. Uh, 
Rainbow Brush, again. I mean, there's a lot of believers out there in the community, and we'll just sweep up those points. So thank you very much, community, for believing in trash like this. Having faith that Pokemon won't just print complete waste of colourful, beautiful ink. But they will. Um, and this is really bad. I remember when I made the slide, I really did struggle to try and fill this big green space here. I was close to just not putting an Ultra Squid at all. <laughs> I mean, Ultra Squid is literally the only thing you can put on here, right? Literally the only thing. Yeah. Uh, Pokenav. We rated one star. Again, for Worlds, it obviously didn't see any play. Um, so, it's another point for us. But, there is some... Some, again, early experimentation lists for post-rotation. I know there were some early Buzzgarb Shrines playing some Pokenavs and stuff, but I think those have been weaned out by now. So, again, you have to really take the early lists as still experimentation, and now they've sort of been stamped out completely. And I can't think of a standard deck that plays Pokenav now as any type of staple, so it's been except pushed those, out. Except those one that you, ones that you play online that play four of and hit their beast energy turn on. They're good. I like those ones. Yeah, Rotom Buzz with the four Pokenav was busted, of course. But... Oh, yeah. Five star card. You're right. So, yeah. Commandment Shrine. Now, fortunately, it's it's a no-point game for everyone, but we should all really have a good hard look at ourselves. I went back and watched me and Jack's discussion on this card, and we were very much fixated on spread decks entirely. And this is where we sort of... Uh, we're too narrow visioned in the potential power of this card. It really mm. is in, is insane um, that actually just taking a very simple approach and saying Boswell and Garbodor are the best attackers in the format that are non GXs. Let's give mm -hmm. them pseudo damage buff with Commandment Shrine. If Commandment Shrine stays in for one turn, like if your opponent doesn't bounce it, it's a free flying flip for you against mm. GXs, which is insane. And this is easily a five-star card. It is a driving force behind Buzzcarp Shrine, which has been one of the earliest, most potent decks. Continues to be powerful. Um, Malamar Shrine. I mean, we even saw Persimian uh, do well this weekend. We saw um, all sorts of decks becoming viable because of Shrine. Coco Shrine variants. Just all sorts of different things, like with Honchcrow and stuff and rule of evil, all sorts of things. Spread is so insane. And I think where we have to improve in the future is looking at the potential of this card, not for the full value. Like when we look at Shrine, you think of a spread deck because it's putting counters all over the place. But we have to also think of the value. If it's only procking on one or two targets, it's still very, very valuable. It's like having a free choice band a lot of the time. So um, that's where we need to look at for the future. And uh, this card is absolutely insane. Fun fact, when Tord was still going through the set review, we were in we were in Valencia, and mm. he said the best card in the set was Shrine. So he's good. He knows what's going on. Uh, I remember we were literally sat over dinner eating, and he went and reread Shrine and was like, what the hell is going on here? What have they done? Mm. <laughs> he said that was by far the best card in the set. And yeah. I think it's Looks I think like it's an understandable right. mistake to make because this card was good back when it was first released as something else. I can't remember what it was called that back then. But all of all of the HPs have increased. Like we're looking at two tens, two twenties, two forties now. So I think it's understandable that you wouldn't think of this as not a spread card. Mm -hmm. Because ten damage is so much less now stuff as one eighty plus when back then it was doing the same effect on stuff like 110 pokemon um so i can kind of i think i think we can't be too harsh on ourselves because theoretically looking back in history this has become a worse card in power level comparison but at the same time it's also just a busted card anyway so yeah with the amount of spread tools that we have and the potency of non-gx's in the meta already yeah i think it's yeah, just a yeah. Good old cocktail of power going on. Mark, yeah, it was when we went. We went to a steak place. Yeah. At the time, there wasn't much. There wasn't like a huge amount of stadiums being played as well. Field blow was much more important than it was 
with the football field goal is much more important back then than it is now, which is why it's kind of still seeing as much play because now people are actually having to tech stadiums in. But back then, like there wasn't a huge amount of stadiums, so there wasn't too much contention for it as well. So if you got one to stick for at least a turn or two, you got so much value from it. And it's gone way up in value again because parallels go are uh, gone, and Zorodex yeah, yeah, yeah. could parallel away their leles, so those weren't liabilities and do stuff like that. And yeah. puzzle back to actually fight the stadium war, and people don't want to commit four stadiums in decks. So Shrine does mm. prevail eventually in a lot of matchups, which really does suck. So yeah, I want this card. I want there to be action done on this card. I'm hoping that Prism Star Stadiums will offer some sort of defense against this but it's still gonna be a one-off that just gets bounced it's gonna be super sad i mean having to play around against shrine decks for this long is gonna be so dull i want something to be done about this card personally i think it's a problem card in the game right now what would you what, what would you have done to it ban <laughs> just ban or have um during or at the end of your opponent's turn put one counter so effectively half the power of the card so instead of between turns just at the end of your opponent's turn because then it gives the opponent a whole turn to react to one damage counter, and at the same time is half. I think the it. Damage. I think if you're halving it, you have to give them at least one damage counter. So I think it should have to be at the end of your turn because, yeah. like, yeah, fair. I just think this card but is yeah, really annoying. It's going to be just so annoying to play around this for a whole, like, two years. <laughs> it's so annoying. I just want to play Zoro in peace, man. Okay, community, what is going on here? This is this is shocking at this point. Giving Sky Pillar three star. That's just the easiest point we've made all night. Can we just That's ban Baby Buzz? Yeah, I don't know how anyone gave Sky Pillar this amount of <clears throat> support. Uh, Champions Festival, there you go. I mean, Sky, Sky Pillar is outclassed by Champions Festival, and that's embarrassing. <laughs> basically to be fair there are a lot of spread variants going around right now it's just that they're all playing shrine so they counteract your sky pillar anyway mm. so this card continues to suck uh let me do this ariados community is just so generous i love it ariados has seen no play and post rotation it's seen no play the reason Adam Hawkins liked it. The reason why Nine Tails performed well was because he had Bright Look, which is cool. And this has nothing. Um, you yeah, do get uh, Netball soon, but I imagine that will have no impact at all. Septile, we rated two star for its potential. The community saw a bit more potential obviously it did literally nothing at worlds we gave it two star for experimentation as a tech card i think we mentioned things like rayquaza playing a thin line of septile yeah. rather than ever being a deck um it didn't even see that to be honest even though buzzrock was heavily played at worlds um but the future's bright for this card because we have septile yeah. gx now so it will be a card that sees play um i think septile may not be a top tier archetype because it does still have that stage two nature and there are a lot of oh hit ko decks out there or that will be out there so i'm not sure that septile will be tippy top tier but i think um it will be a good tier two deck that can counter ultra beast stuff like um Blacephalon and buzzwall so i think septile is a reasonable deck Mm -hmm. And this will definitely be in that deck as at least a one of, maybe even a two of, like a three two GX and basic line. I think I like that because, like, it's it's not even an awful attacker if you can try and keep energy on the board. It like can take a kick it take a decent two shot against things as well. Yeah, it's, it's a. I think it's I think it's a card that will definitely see play at some point. Yeah. Just simply off the back of Grovile and Septile GX. Yep. Shift Reader X, we and the community rated it two stars, and on reflection, too generous, I think. Um, mm. Zoro Pod was just a better green card than Shift Tree. I think we were all yeah. dreaming that you could get the big extra sensories off with Choice Band and have that beautiful matchup to improve your buzz and also have a card that can one-hit your Zoroarks in mirrors, but it turned out you just crumble to buzz if you don't hit Candy turn two and attach turn one. Which is too much to ask for, so we both 
got caught believing a little bit too much in this card, unfortunately. And post-rotation, again, people tried to experiment with this all over again, thinking you had more time. Uh, but unfortunately, the supporters can't really support this archetype, <laughs> which sucks. <laughs> I think people just forgot they couldn't uh, copycat or judge in the same term that they mask Royale. Yeah, Otherwise, true. it's got to be busted. <laughs> Blaziken, again, we got caught believing a little bit too much. We actually re-rated this card because it was obviously in Dragon Majesty, and we did rate it a 1 in our newer um, rating system. Um, just for nostalgia effect, I think we overrated this card. Obviously, essentially, in our latest review, we said that this carries all the issues that Malamar has, but is also a stage 2. Mm -hmm. Vault is working because Ray has Tempest. And Vikavolt's ability is more worth chasing because it's such good acceleration. Acceleration from the deck and two energy being pulled out is amazing. So uh, Blaziken competing with that is terrible. So it's always going to be worse than Vikavolt and always less consistent than Mali. So there's no reason to play this. Uh, especially now that Fire has like Fiery Flint plus Reshi combo. A basic that can do that. This just won't see play. Blaziken GX, I don't know why it, it was given a two star by the community, but it was by almost half of them. So we'll gobble up a free point in there. Nectarines. Macargo, we rated five out of five, community rated four star. Now, this is debatably a loss for us here, Jack. Because mm. Macargo. I mean, Zoro Lock didn't do exceptional at Worlds. I think the only Zoro deck in the top eight was Zoro Garb. Correct me if I'm wrong. There may have been another Zoro deck in top eight of Worlds. No, I think that sounds about right. Um, so potentially only a four-star card. Mad Cargo did feature in other lists, though. It was in um, some Buzzrock lists. For example, Mark's top 32 list played a 2-2 line. Um, I should have played it at Worlds. A Zoro Pod made top eight. Oh, yeah, there was a Zoro Pod right. made top eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think this might be the community's win here. Yeah, I agree. I think this is a four-star card for the... For Worlds. Uh, for Worlds. It was much I more debatable now... because of Parallel City at the time. Yeah. I think now it's yeah, a five-star card. I think now, I think yeah, it's definitely crazy five. Crazy good. It's carrying the Guru Cargo Kukui Acrobike engine is carrying decks right now. Mm. Um, and it's also in Zoroark anyway. So, I mean, it's in a bunch of decks. Make literally carrying decks on its sluggy little shell. It's incredible. Uh, really good card. Well done, community, though, for realizing parallel. Articuno did literally nothing at Worlds, obviously. Um, community rated it two stars. But looking at the latest tournament, this card did feature in a mm -hmm. Steelix Wellord deck. Surprisingly, we didn't have that on our slide. Um, but More because we didn't want to tell people. <laughs> but in fairness, we didn't talk about the application of the GX attack in a mill approach. We no. spoke about it in a sort of tempo approach where you're trying to slow yeah. someone down. Uh, but we were also saying you'd rather be killing stuff. But in Mill, you're not. You wouldn't rather be killing stuff because you want to be controlling and removing energy cards. And this, I think, I don't know if we can call it a two-star card just because it was in Steelix Wales, but it's also potentially a card in Lapras Quagsire. So it's kind of it, like a one point five. I said this to everyone that I said this that I spoke to this week about Lapras Quagsire. I would have one hundred percent played it this weekend if I played Lapras. You'd definitely play the Articuno. Yeah, I think it's uh, the more I think about it, the better I think it is. Yeah, I think it's a reasonable um, card. If it just had fighting resistance, I know it's a nice card. If it card, had fighting resistance, it'd be crazy. So it doesn't yeah. make sense, but it could have been cool if it had it. But yeah. Um, some Zoro Lockless played one water, one Articuno. Oh, Destroy King, you're actually right. There were some people playing it. I just don't know how oh. far they got, though. I do remember that. Some people were trying think, to do it. Oh, I think by definition, though, that's a two star because it's all experimentation. Okay, we'll flip flop. I mean, it wasn't successful experimentation, but experimentation doesn't need to be successful all the time. I guess, I, I guess if they had the balls to take it to Worlds, we should probably give them a point. Yeah, we'll give them that. <laughs> and I think we're leaning on it being a two now rather than a one now. So, fair play. Yeah. Due to our own 
our own creation of Lapras Quag, we've turned it into a two-star card. Embarrassing. Oh, God, that reminds me. We're probably going to have to do a Dragon Majesty one of these. Yeah. Yeah, but it, what do we rate Quags are? Yeah, it did It did terrible at regional. It won two cups. Calm down. It's a one-star card. Uh, mm. Two-star. Mm. Experiment. When I'm the one experimenting, it doesn't count as experimentation. I experiment with everything. Okay. Yeah. Fralligator, obvious one-star card. Never going to yeah. change. Literally yeah. never. Embarrassing. Kyoga. Oh, I'm always an Aquavox believer. So stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. What am I doing? I always... Whenever I see a non-GX water type in set reviews, you know I've rated that two star as a basic because you know it's an experimental tool that I use to put in Aquavox all the time. Aquavox mm. is obviously not good enough for Worlds. And this doesn't even see play in current Aquavox decks, no. although it is, it was considered. If it did 130 instead of 120 with Grand Wave, it would be a card. Now it's not a card at all. That was a piece of cardboard. That's my own fault there for just loving Aquabox too much. Here's a big old yikes. <laughs> I think this is one of the biggest yikes from us here. Oh, community. You saw, you saw the, uh, the trash that this card was. I was a big believer of this card. <laughs> um, oh dear. Turns out, 13 years later, the deck isn't quite as good as it used to be. Um, but I really liked the damage output of Circular Steps, and I thought that was an aspect worth chasing. It's you just... On the ropes. <laughs> it's just uh, too difficult to get set up. Even even with the cargo engine, it's too much work. This was one of the first decks I tried post-rotation as well, and I was visually upset. Thoroughly with, unenthused. With how poorly it it did. I, I actually thought this was real uh, immediately after Worlds. It was like one of the first decks I wanted to try. So mm. sad. So sad. I bought four as well. Embarrassing. I bought four, don't worry. I had it as well. <laughs> and I didn't even like the card. I was like, oh, this might be good one day. I don't think it's good now, but... So there we go. Hey, drawing exactly what you want per turn sounded good. Yeah. Swampert, Gross. we rated two star. I think for Worlds, it's correct to call this two star. I don't think I saw much of it. I can say, I'm trying to think about it's definitely it... It's definitely on the lower of the spectrum. So I think we yeah, managed yeah. to steal a point here. Um, the fact that we rated this lower than the Ludi Cargo, uh, the Ludi Kodo, is a little bit outrageous, though. Looking back on it on uh, on reflection, um, but yeah, this didn't see play for Worlds, at least in successful lists. I think this card is at least a two star, possibly a three star card. Looking at it now, uh, because there is the sort of tier three Swamper Empoleon deck. There is the um, Swampert with Gardevoir going around. There's Swampert in a few other things here and there. So it's seeing some play. And I think there's, um, with the counter gain card, and even I've even tried a Swampert Quagsire list. You know I have. Um, <laughs> there's, there's a lot going on with this. And I think with Swampert getting Elm back, I think the card may be looking to be reasonable again. So I think the card is probably three-star in current format and looking ahead. I don't think that's that's too much of a step to say that. Interesting. Do you agree with that, Jack? Um, right now, I'd still rate it two, I think. You, uh... I mean, Empoleon Swampert has had a lot of cup wins. I know it's smaller tournaments, but I mean, if it's a three, if it's a lower tier and, deck, we have to call yeah, it a three star and card. There were two Swamper decks. I don't even know it's top seventy eight, but they still went six two one in yeah. Philly. So yeah, this is probably like borderline two three. Though you have, I I hadn't clocked that there were Mudkips with sixty HP. So I really want to try this next format, that next set. Uh, yeah, could be fun. Because I'm a Swamper fanboy more than anything. I don't, I don't, counter like, game, counter energy, good, but... super boost. Yeah, uh, lots of fun stuff that can be done here. Pretty fun. Yeah, I like it. Cool. I'm in. Electro GX is as trash as we always thought it would be. And uh, for those of you 
telling us that this card was better than a one star card. Embarrassing. Truly embarrassing. This card is terrible. Really, really bad. It will not see play, I don't think ever. Hey, Xerneas Electrode was played in that little tournament. And they, the only reason Gen one of them Gen got Gen a win was success. because they faced a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, Trash. Uh, Lantern, everyone agreed that this was one of the weaker cards that we actually spoke about. Fun fact, though, this card may be becoming a little bit better now that we have the electric buff card that does 30 more damage. Lightning Strike can be powered up for free to go in a Tapu Koko Zerora deck and actually be a non-GX attacker now. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's mandatory to go in the deck. I don't think it necessarily does go in the deck anyway. But there's some consideration for experimentation, which is a lovely zone to be in for this card. Because uh, a free EXP share is really nice in combination with like Coco Zerora shenanigans. So... Yeah, it's nice being. It's nice. It's a card that doesn't have to. You don't have to get it out just to attack. I think it's going to be super nice just to have to to have inbuilt exp shares because the deck probably needs to run uh, weakness policies because of Buzzwall. So now you can run both without running both. Yeah, Manetric, terrible card. Not even close to Talonflame, which. By the way, we rated a terrible card as well at the time. <laughs> so I'm always strict on these sorts of effects just because of raw statistics behind them and how likely they are to be good. Um, the fact that this is only an ability when you can go second means that in a lot of your games, you never get the value of the ability. And on top of that, it needs to be in your opening hand. So it needs to be like 40% of the time of the 50% of games that you play, this ability is useful and this attack is still not useful for any attacker. So, yeah, pretty poor. I don't think there's any reason for this to see play, even with Zero or Shenanigans coming out. I'd rather you just play a heavy acro bike engine and use the Lightning Nitro Tank early on for acceleration rather than anything else. Burnett, um, we rated one star. Community was split between one and two stars. Should we take the point? We'll steal no, the point. I don't. I don't think so. Okay, I think, fine. I think I think we're doing well enough. Let's be we're honest. We're doing well yeah. enough. Okay, and yeah, uh, there's no call for this to be good enough. Burnett is still seeing play, but it's either in a tech option. Well, it's been alongside Zoroark as only a thin line of the GX, or the thin line of the GX goes in the Buzzgarb deck. This baby Burnett never going to see play. Um, not strong enough. Burnett GX, both us and the community rated three stars. It obviously was in a, I believe it was the winning list, or the second place list. I can't remember which it one was, it was. Was it the winning list of it seniors? Was it, it was both? both. It was, no, sorry, it was winning list for, oh, for juniors and seniors. Ah, okay, okay. I believe. So, definitely, I think it's fair to say outperformed expectations. Obviously didn't do a huge amount in Masters, but uh, this card continues to see a lot of play. I think... Um, Three Star was one of these conservative places because we were just like, oh, weak to Zorowak, how good is that going to be? But Yeah, I remember card testing this week to a busted card. So. Yeah, I mean, I remember testing this for Worlds. Um, I remember seeing huge potential. I remember a lot of people discussing this card. It's true that it never really got to, um, to be its own deck, but I think um, it's fair to call this still a Three Star card. Um, but definitely the high end of the three stars because it has splash ability with rainbow mm -hmm. decks and with Zoro. Oh, that's right. Rahul did well with it. Oh, I've got a, a few top uh, high placements in Masters as well. Thank you, TechQ, for the uh, insight. So yeah, maybe even higher. For Worlds, maybe it was a four star. But yeah, definitely continues to see play and is definitely one you need to get your hands on if you want to have the yeah, option to I use think... it. I think the other thing worth thinking about is the fact that because this is weak to Zoroark and we don't have Zoroark in format anymore, obviously we don't know whether we're going to get any good dark Pokemon for sure, but I think this card is super strong and one of the only things holding it back is Zoroark. So I think in a format without Zoroark, this could still be really, really good. Yeah, possibly. Deoxys, us and the community both rated three stars. I believe this was in the finalist list as a one-of, but I'm not certain. Um, we may have overestimated this card. Um, 
because it felt like people were still teching Mewtwo. And even for Worlds, to be honest, people were removing Mewtwo and just playing straight Mew uh, EX. So I think we overestimated the cards for World, the card for Worlds exactly. I think it may have been in the Mali list, but I'm not 100% sure. I just remember we played a bunch of different attackers in the Mali list, and I remember it being all sorts of different things. So possibly not, but definitely in standard now it is a three star it's in the most popular mali variant right now as a two of a lot of the time so yeah i think it's fair he to call it three play. now but um yeah for worlds it definitely didn't perform at all no nope. uh, mainly because mali has a good enough buzz a lot of the time so there you go mr mime everyone agrees one star don't have to waste time on this regirock we didn't actually um Ask the community about this card because it was actually on our second look that we thought about discussing this guy. And I think we did ultimately overestimate it. Um, Zygarde EX was a card that I actually played at Worlds um, because you get that really nice turn one attachment attack to do really good numbers alongside Diancy Choice Band. This was played in some Buzz Rocks and in some Buzzgarb Shrines. Never really more than a one of. I think it would be fair to say for Worlds it was more of like a 1.52 sort of experimented with sometimes in lists but not expected to be in lists and i think in current standard it's nowhere to be seen right now um because its math was based on strong energy a lot of the time the strong energy is yeah. gone so that's pointless now so i think this card uh is really bad now and we probably overestimated the card even though it was Kind of considered by a few people at Worlds. Mm. Alone and Raticate, again. Um, I don't know why we didn't get the community to rate this one. Uh, because this is another one we put in last minute. Oh, it's because it's it wasn't in the actual Japanese scans. It was in a little... It was a promo, I guess. Or it was in a different set. Yeah. Um, so we rated one star. I think the community would join us on that. Um, funnily enough, I sat next to someone playing Alone and Raichu Rotom in in uh frankfurt jack did i tell you this no he was playing rotom raichu oh sorry rotom raticate and he was up oh. against coco weavile and he lost a two rule of evils in, in both games just his whole oh. board just got wiped twice it was so sad it was so no. sad but anyway um <laughs> yeah i mean this this card hasn't seen play and won't see play even with the this card this card's busted. Don't get what you say. Optimal cat. Thanks so much for following. That's awesome. I'm a pretty optimal cat about this rat. Okay. Sableye, we rated one star. Community rated two star. I think it's fair to say that it did nothing at Worlds. We'll take the little sweep there. Fun fact, I tried to make this work with Rotom Box, and whoever tries to use Rotom oftentimes uses Sableye as part of their engine for removal. Um... It's also fun alongside Pokenav, by the way, because you can look at your top three and then es excavate the tools afterwards. Broken. Remember this for when we talk about Rotom um, in the next set, because there's some cool new tools like Spell Tag and that little pouch thing. So maybe Rotom isn't done just yet, but right I now really it's a one really star. really hope it is. <laughs> Celesteela, both us and the community, overrated this card as a three star. I remember talking with Jack and actually trying to push this even higher at times, uh, thinking that the Moonraker turn was insane. But I was also a believer that the stack attack in a Ganadel deck would have been much, much better. I thought it was much... I thought it was well-placed for Worlds because I thought that Naganadel was very good for uh, Zoro rocks and I thought that um, Dustmane and Beastring could give you a reasonable Zoro arc. In testing, it was really just damn average, and I think this being a tech card in a damn average deck just made it overrated. I think we were sort of blinded by how good Sledgehammer is, but the fact is Sledgehammer is good early game and on the four prize turn, whereas this is mm. only ever a card that you do when both players are on exactly six prizes and you need to move into the active and do all this sort of stuff. So... Um, I think definitely overestimated, but it's a fair overestimation because we know the power of Sledgehammer and seeing some sort of replication of that attack um, can lead to 
us getting a little bit overexcited, I guess. But the community made the same mistake, and Beast Box remains really not good right now, which is crazy because I thought they gave it just enough support, but apparently not. Um, I thought it looked like a really good deck going into uh, post rotation because it lost nothing. Yeah, and it's still it just not doing nothing. anything. Mm. But hey ho. Uh, Jirachi Prism Star, everyone agrees, terrible. Metagross, we rated one star. Uh, Metagross didn't do anything at Worlds, thank goodness. But <laughs> the community strikes again as the um, Metagross Solgaleo deck did in fact play one of these Metagross in its list um, to deal with Hooper, uh, funnily enough. And it gives you that use of Steven's Resolve if you want to play multiple. So begrudgingly we maybe have to give this a 1.5 in stat like current standard i'd hate to give it any more than that but um my goodness i mean do you give this a two for experimentation in metagross which is like i think i mean currently metagross is like tier three with sylveon it maybe gets pushed to tier like 2.5 something like that I don't want to, Joe, but I think it's probably a two-star card. Yeah, we might have to give this a two-star card. Mm. Was it really just for Hooper? Uh, I spoke with him. He's a friend of the channel, and he said one of the main reasons was a Hooper card. Uh, but yeah, it can, if you're not getting gusted, it can do that 130 alongside Delmise. Um, it can't even just set up maps against like Zoroark players and stuff like that, because you are 170 HP annoying Pokemon in the active. Like, it's it's not, like, a good card, but it can serve a purpose. And when you have Solgaleo, you can move out of it each turn, so you, you can get those Steven's Resolves off. So it's, mm. it's like, a cute one-off for that deck. But I don't think it's, by any means, necessary in any Metagross. And I don't think Metagross is above Tier 2 at all at the moment. So, yeah. Okay. With Delmise at Rex Shrine... I mean, only if you can keep chaining your attacks. You build it with frying pans and Shrine can't beat that. No, I imagine Shrine can't beat that, but that's heavily teched. Anyway, uh, we are right for worlds at least. Sizzle! Ah, oh, damn it! I always get trapped by some cards, man. It's always... Uh, it's so funny that oftentimes there are some where I'm a bigger believer than the community and they're always right like it should be a good indicator right now that we've been right 22 times and we've been harsh on the community and like the one the one or two times we've overestimated cards the community has been closer i mean to be fair this is an absolute like zero star for worlds no one played this like literally no one played this and in current standard no one's playing this either um yeah just enticed by the old card i think um yeah, really not good. Look, we, we put the Celesteela on the slide to make it look like it was better, because you get to utilize a broken card. But it turns out this one wasn't broken, and this one's not close. Poor <laughs> yeah. uh, Sizzle. Uh, so everyone, everyone wanted this to work, I think. It's so cool. So, much, so many elements to this card that was cool, but just didn't work out. Stack Attacker... GX, we rated 4 out of 5. Community rated 3.5. Obviously, community closer to being correct, but if we didn't do the 0.5 earlier, we won't do it now. So it all no. balances out. I think this is a 3-star card, though. Yeah, I think... I mean, for Worlds, not many people played Beast Box. Um, definitely not in Day 2. In Day 1, there was like a handful, but it really wasn't popular. I think in Standard, it's also not popular... Stack Attacker in a Vacuum is still a powerful card, though. That reduction is very cool. That reduction could come into play in maybe, like, Blacephalon decks if it's going to be math fixing or making things more annoying. I can't remember if Blacephalon is 180 or 190. 180? If it has 180, uh... Stack Attacker could easily be a one-of in that deck. Yeah, it's got 180. Um, To be, like, a tech card for, like, um, Rayquaza and stuff like that. Force an extra energy attachment, so... There's still potential for him in the future. Um, but the whole quad stacker Naga thing didn't even work. So it's pretty sad. 
Um, I mean, there's still so much B-string. There's still so much uh, support for Ultra Beast. There's, I still scratch I my head at how this hasn't seen success. But I don't think this card is dead. I think this card is still very good. Um, right now, we don't have an Ultra Beast with, or we don't have anything with any kind of draw support uh, for the Beast Box deck, which I think is a good thing because it, because I think that deck is not far from being very good. Uh, but because it has no draw support, it just you just get crumb hands. If it had draw support, I think it would be very, very strong because you've got a strong one energy attack, you've got resistance, you've got a good GX attack, you've got a lot of the good pieces except a draw engine. Um, but I think we're not done with Ultra Beasts yet, and also we have we still have B-String in format. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think this this card is... We've got Ultra Recon Squad. <laughs> that's not the one we I, meant <laughs> no i think this i think this card will see play at some point and will be successful i think they need to slip up not slip up but i think they need to make one even just pseudo good ultra beast with some kind of draw or search or something and the whole thing blows wide open because the ability is really strong the attack is fine like it's a mid-range attack which is fine but the gx attack is really really good as well yeah i think the card is still strong in a vacuum, but three star just because Beast Box is like tier three. Potential for this card to be a one of in like Blacephalon and other Ultra Beasts if they keep printing them. How's it going, uh, Pedra as well? Destroyer King, yeah. Ultra Beast draw card. Altara GX, do we actually get this? We didn't. Do we get this? Oh, well, we got it in Dragon Majesty, didn't we? Got it in Dragon Majesty, so yeah, we, we rated it, it there. Uh, so we'll call this one void. Salamence, we rated one star. Obviously, it wasn't ever going to do anything for Worlds because it was the Lance waiting room. Now the Lance has come out, the Dragon decks are doing nothing. They're really not performing at all yet. Ever. Maybe. Maybe they will. Ever. More dragons ever. we have to look at. I mean, whenever there are more dragons that come out, you have to look at Lance again. But this Salamence, um, not really good enough. And uh, this Salamence, everyone agrees, was absolute trash as well. Hmm. Latias Prism Star, we rated four stars. Community rated five stars. Now, there were some Rayquaza builds that didn't even play Latias Prism Star. I don't know if Pedro's list played Latias or not. Give me two minutes, or he can answer. I suppose him answering might be another good. Meltan GX is an Ultra Beast. I think Meltan isn't an Ultra Beast, though. He was called no, his class as a mythical. Uh, Pedro did not play Latias. Yeah. So there you go. No, so no Latias in the most successful Ray lists or list. So is that a cheeky point for us? I would still say that the majority of Rays that I played and saw would have played Latias, and Ray was a top tier deck. The two in top eight did. Yeah. So I think Community wins on this one. Just um, uh, the next two didn't. It all depends on... Okay, so it's literally a 50-50 split. Half of the ones in top 32 played it, half of them didn't. Okay, I think we let's probably... call it a draw. Mm, yeah, I guess. Because, I mean, the yeah, argument yeah. can be made for either. Um, looking at standard, obviously Maxlix is gone. Rayquaza is not quick enough to support itself in a turbo build. We oh. lost lots of good supporters as well to draw through our deck. Um, so uh, Vikavolt is the main power upper for Rayquaza and Latias has gone into Oblivion unfortunately um, so it's dropped hugely even though the card is very powerful it's just not seeing play so it probably sits in like a two star category right now but if we get more basics to start attaching to it could come back because its own potency is still powerful so Bear that in mind. The card is invisible right now, but it has a really strong effect still. Latios Prism Star. We rated two star. Obviously did nothing for Worlds. Why is there a Pachirichu on the screen? Because we were comparing it to Snuggly Generator in terms of how it can accelerate. Mm -hmm. um, but it was just so much better on Rays than it was on Pikachus. And it also did yeah. damage, so it was busted. And it had more hit, hit points. It wasn't weak to fighting. Like, it was just absolutely busted. Um, so... Latios obviously did nothing for Worlds. The Lance rating room is over. 
there has definitely been experimentation for this Latios Prism Star, myself included. A few other people trying out, like Garchomp, Bliss, that also play Latios. Um, people trying the Dramper Altarias, people trying Dragonite, people trying all sorts, but I think to no avail so far. No Dragon deck has really come out of the woodwork to be that good. Mm. Um, so. I think we get the point for Worlds, but it's yet to be blown open. We had Lance in this picture. Yeah, we had Lance in the picture, but uh, when we did the community set review, there wasn't like a picture of Lance next to Latios. We had the criteria of the voting system in the uh, in the questionnaire itself. Tech Q. So yeah, I think it's fair to call this still a two star because the dragon decks aren't really in a defined tier at all. I don't think any of them. Well, like I say, I think it's waiting to be waiting to be blown open. I think yeah. the cards, both of the cards, are still very good. Which rank waiting for two very good dragons to pair with them. Yeah, or some very good dragons to pair with them. Rayquaza GX. Okay, community's definitely right on this one. There's no doubt that this ended up being a five star card. Oops. Um, I think one of the things that we have to look at at this was actually the fact that Marshadow was one of the cards that broke this deck. The fact that Mysterious Treasure comboed with Let Loose to really just go, here's my board presence and here's a four card hand for you, buddy. Just win so many games for the Ray. We didn't see that in our early lists, and it was a thing that definitely led to breaking this card. And it's also one of those things where when you play 10 games of Rayquaza, you see lots of variants with Stormy wins, and you see all sorts of things that go wrong, and it could put you off the deck. And that was personally my experience with Ray when I built a proxy list. There were just things going wrong because I was going too all in on the list. And maybe it took more testing to really figure out how insane this was. Um, but the raw speed and power made this the most consistent aggro deck at Worlds. And that's why it did so well. And it was broken by some very creative types who just decided to cut things that looked staple, like Latios, and put in things like Marshadow. So it was definitely pretty busted for Worlds. I think looking back now, it would have been all a really awesome play um, if I had got a correct list. And um, I think now it's still a five-star card because it's the front man of um, the most um, consistent stage two deck, believe it or not, thanks to Tempest GX. So, uh, yeah, Rayquaza is still absolutely insane. I pulled the trigger at Frankfurt and actually bought my playset. So I've got them now, finally caved oh, in. I bought, I bought two more in Frankfurt, yeah. Sweet. Um. And the card is just pretty good. And bonkers for Worlds. Can't wait to get Pedro's 60 card list in the Worlds deck. Pogchamp. Really hope it's his. That's the fourth deck. Because I'm pretty sure juniors, seniors, and masters, like the winning list, none of them were raised. So let's make yeah, it happen. There's, there's two Bennett's uh, and Zori Garb. Okay. I think I'm, I'm hoping it'll be Bennett Garb, Zori Garb. Uh, Malamar uh, Ray. Uh, Ray. Cause that's I think four, it would make sense. Four, four different, four very different archetypes. I, I, buy the world, I buy the world's decks, boys. I do it. Delcati, we rated one star after much deliberation. The community rated it two stars. I would have followed the community if it weren't for Jack. <laughs> and we I'll gained, take the point. That's, make a separate, that's a make point a separate for Jack. rating. Give me, give, me, <laughs> give me that point. Um... Oh, Zygarde would be a cool deck as well, yeah, to see. Maybe with the controversy over Malamar, maybe we'll see Zygarde mm -hmm. like in Rock now. Who knows? Maybe they're already in production. Feels bad, man. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Delcati also not seeing any play um, nope. post-rotation. Um, Palpad is doing the business in the Zoro decks, and... Um, Lucimine is in the stall decks. Cedo's network saying Delcati could see play once Ditto mm. comes out. I could see that. There's a lot more viability of things like one of Muck, one of Delcati, a few cards that we may see a one of just because of Ditto. Don't necessarily think this will be one though. Um, I can see this never seeing play to be honest. After seeing it go this long without seeing play, 
when supporters are this bad, I would have thought that guaranteeing them would have been premium, but there's not really a deck that wants to search out Delcatis or anything like that. Maybe it's just the lack of good search that we have for Stage 1 and Basic Pokemon right now that's keeping it away, but who knows. Uh, let's have a look at Dunsparce. Misfire from both us and the community. This was fully a discussion for the future. Um, I think when me and Jack were rating this card, it was definitely the fact that this was so insane when it first ever came out. And we were saying that Bridget's going and we're left with Fan Club and Volpix. This compared reasonably to those, but it turns out just too slow. So well, worth noting, we like like you said though, in our discussion, we did fully say this is a post rotation discussion. We knew yeah. this card wasn't gonna do well in And even in the uh even in the post rotation discussion, we literally said I don't think it will be better than just fan club and Nestles, but it could be, and if it is, it's in everything. So this was us hedging at the best of times. And I remember looking at the the pie chart from the community ratings, it went from one star to five star. Like people were all over the place with this thing, so I think it's fair to be cautious about a card that's been that good, and uh, we sort of were, sort of, we were basically always deciding to be wrong by going for a three, but only wrong by two points on one side of the scale or the other. So it's a weird way of thinking about it. Um, Kecleon, everyone agrees, one star, definitely one star. Slacking, we'll steal an extra point because this slacking has done absolutely do nothing, and. Uh, yeah, continues to do nothing. So, great news. Um, even with no Toxin anymore, it only has to compete with Glaceon. Uh, it's just not seeing play. It's too difficult to get set up and powered up. So yeah, that is our ratings overall. Um, we were fairly close. I think we were on the money for the majority. I think the biggest cards that we slipped up on were Ludicolo... Shrine, and anything else that I'm missing? Uh, I mean, Ray, I guess. Arguably Ray. But that's really about it. And yeah, that's going to be um, our review review. I think we're getting slightly better than this. Uh, uh, sorry, slightly better at this. We have had blunders in the past, but we're getting pretty close at these now. And uh, I'm actually having to start a new set review. Slides everyone soon. we do, everyone we do, we feel we get a little bit better. So you know. And uh, yeah, don't be dissuaded, community. Just think a little bit harder next time for the next review. I'm going to be posting um, the sort of card list soon for your feedback on those, and I'm going to start making the slides this weekend um, for Lost Thunder. It's going to be a monster video. I feel like it'll be our longest one ever um, because there's so many oh. cards. Um, I'm looking forward to it, but at the same time, I'm really not. Tech here, if you don't want your things to be averaged out, you can just, if you keep notes of your own votes, you can you can have your own score sheet next time we do this. Yeah. I mean, we're not trying, like, this was just a bit of fun anyway. We're not trying to have a dick at anyone or whatever. It's just uh, something... It's, like, it's, it's so, so much more us looking at how we do than being like, oh... Um, we win this round. We hey, win hey, this hey. round because yeah. we're all like, like someone said earlier on. There's no one arguing devil's advocate, devil's advocate for the community side. So we're just going to take three points essentially, to some extent. So you know, it's it's just it's more for our own to make sure every review we do we get a little bit better. So hopefully, in like two or three sets time, we could be like, okay, this is our review, and we feel like we've got every card spot on. To then probably still get one wrong, but you never know. <laughs> what was the five star card? We rated uh, Mag Cargo as our five star card in that set, which I think is is fine. I'm happy. Um, Joe, you seem to have logged into PC PCGO, and we could look at some Family Fortunes real quick because oh, I've been enticed. We? I've been enticed. Hold on, let me see if I can find them. Because I don't want to play Pokemon Jack. <laughs> I know. I'm, 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 I'm trying to save you. I really don't want to do those things. 
Let me quickly get this going. It's deciding to take forever to load. Let's get back to. Ah, oh, why is this taking forever? Here we go. What was it? Family, family fortunes. Okay, family. Just make sure it's not the part two. Yeah. I don't want spoilers. I don't want to so, find out free free answers. Let's go to where was I? This one? No. This one? Yes. So we did this family fortunes thing, and uh, we did this on a fun stream, like actually a couple of months back now. Um, but it's basically where we asked the community um, a few questions and they voted on it and then we had guests on the show asking asking them what they thought the community voted as the best so there we go um, so where do we get down to we did best prism star we did best deck post rotation best player I remember doing that one I think we did up to best player in the world. Because I remember saying that um, variations of Tord, like Tord Rockruff. Yeah. And uh, all the other different names of Tord and the Tord Rockruff there. Yeah, it feels. Oh, there you go, yeah. Lord Tord. Fjord Rockruff. Yeah, so many renditions of Tord were one of the votes for... I think he was the second highest voted current best player in the world. Actually, I think it went Tord, Azul, then Fake Names of Tord was the second most popular, or the third most popular. So from there, we asked... Other than Tapu Lele, what's the best basic GX? I think most people just said Buzz, which is pretty fair. What else we got? What's also cool is just looking at the... The one votes that people got. Like, there's some funny funny responses. Tapu Shele, for example. Great response. Fantastic. Ray Quay, GX. Yeah, excellent. Best stage two. Everyone said Guardi, looks like. This was going back a little while. A lot of decidueyes. Como OGX, someone says. Machamp. Machamp got four votes. No, Machamp, no, sorry, that's Metagross. Machamp got one vote. Metagross got a few, though. Power Mouse, best GX. Shiftry, Solgaleo. Yeah, there's some funny responses here. Favourite Omnipoke Nuzlocke member. Oh, oh yes. Oh, boy. Let's have a look at this. Sonika, five votes. What, 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 what? Sonika, best girl. Tamal. <laughs> <laughs> the dead one. Embarrassing. Oh. Panky getting a lot of votes. Nanny. The true land before time. Joe. Bowser, my guy. Spanky. <laughs> Bowser, beat down. Loads of oh. dots. Lapras got Joe's vote. <laughs> For the best, KC. basically. Jack. <laughs> Joe and Jack getting a good amount of votes there. Was best. that Don Fan if you catch one? I think someone just said, yeah, if you catch a Don Fan, that'll be my new favourite. Yeah. What's the best card in Forbidden Light? A lot of people saying Malamar, B String, lots of votes for B String. Treasure. Oh, well, Buzzwall. Unfortunately, B String. Folk Prism Star, agree. Well, well, did Buzzwall do well? Baby Buzzwall got a handful of votes. Alolan Eggy Boy <laughs> got a vote. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, mainly B-String. I think B-String won. Yeah. Followed by Malamar. What's the best replacement for Sycamore? Cynthia, Ooh. a lot of people saying. Copycat was a lot. A stiff drink. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, looking through these was so this. funny. Hala. Imagine if we'd got to this. Then we just wouldn't have been able to... <laughs> Power Mouse again, a vote. Sightseer, Skill, Sophocles, Sophocles Monka S. 
Yeah, trying to go through these was so funny. Best ginger supporter card. Lysander got a lot of votes. Bridget. Blacksmith. Blacksmith's not ginger, is he? Just Joe thing's got a vote. Yes. Yes. Mars. Oh, mate. Mars was in a regionals winning list. Fact. Misty's determination. Misty's wrath. Power Mouse also votes for himself again. Trevor. A soul. Excellent. We don't have Sycamore, but at least we have Power Mouse Poggers. Best Pokemon video game. Let's see what people were saying. Lots of votes for Emerald. Platinum. Black and white. A handful of people. Pokemon Snap. Smash. Pokemon Snap. <laughs> oh, Platinum, yeah. That's what's going on. Platinum was the correct answer. Here's another controversial one. Ah, oh, Fromny Poke, who's the best content creator? We obviously know you'd put us first anyway, so. Load for Mahone, Azul as well, getting a lot. Eric from Rare Candy. Mark Lutz. My life in 8 bit. Omni Cat. Purple Cliff, Rare Candy. Seagrove. Slowpoke Well, rest in peace. Someone's PC. Load for Tablemon as well. Top Cut. Trainer Chip. Swallow. It's all there. Bring back Slowpoke Well. Bring back Mark Lutz. Given the choice to free, who would you free? Free Cena. Free Cena. Free Cena. Free Igor. So I sent this uh, these responses off to the Pokemon Company International and Cena was then unbanned, like, I think, a day later. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> uh... Free Connor Bird. Free Daddy Lapras. Free Frogs. Excellent. Free Joe. Wait, nobody. Wait, when was this? Did someone say free eagle? Yeah. Wasn't this pre eagle? No, no, it wasn't pre eagle. Oh, I was gonna say someone's got some mad prediction skills. <laughs> They're like, oh, give it a couple of weeks. Oh, I thought it was pre eagle. Okay. Free Michael. Free not Ross. Excellent. Free Chow Chow. I don't know. Bigger Jimmy. Excellent. I love these answers. You What's your favourite best. starter? Oh, here, here we go. Oh, this is a good one. Charmander. Chimchar with four votes. Cyndaquil with four. Yes. Froakie with Chim three. Mudkip uh, Mud with six. Oshawott. Yes, Mudkip. Piplup only with four. Piplup gets my vote, I think. Rowlet was so, getting a Someone said a Lolan Vulpix. Yeah. I think they meant... I think they got confused and thought it was like a lead in TCG. <laughs> I want to say. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> Lots Guns of squirtles. Were there any pankies? No, uh, panflams. No one put panflam. No one put panflam, I don't think. You're all useless. Embarrassing. Lol, is it pre eagle and post eagle in the Pokemon timeline now? <laughs> I mean, for that question, it made sense, I guess. <laughs> What's the best Omni jargon? Most people just didn't know what this was, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, I feel like I feel like this is a bit of a very specific question. But Beetle also got an overwhelming amount of votes. Clowning, clown shoes, die for some reason. <laughs> die, die, die. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's just given a YouTube link. What does that link? Nectar, to? Omni chair, Poggers, stage two, Nene. Todd Rockruff. Matt Slatsy. <laughs> Rumham. It's all there, boys. It's I don't all think there. we've actually invented about 80% of these. These have just come from other people or James. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lele, best starter. What's that? What's the link? I really want to see what the link is. I don't know. I don't think I can click it from this thing. Mm -hmm. Stage 2 Nene. -nay. Love that as well. If you could keep one card that's rotating in standard, what would it be? Loads of votes for N, Floatstone, Bridget, Sycamore Artillery. People saying Max Elixir, get out of here. <laughs> Delayed, <laughs> puzzle. Card. People want Delinquent to stay? Hello? Ugh. Someone just wrote Shadow Stitch. Just keep just Shadow Stitch. <laughs> the attack. Rocket's handiwork. <laughs> Greninja break with all the J's. Boba Fett, yes, Poggers. That was you, don't lie. It wasn't me. Keep Power Mouse in format, please. Who said parallel? Get get gone. Embarrassing. Brock's grit. 
<laughs> yeah, <that's... laughs> Rock's grit. Please, oh. we need that in the game. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, uh, no, no, it's trash. Jesse yeah. has it going. What expanded cards do you want to see get reprinted? Chorus versus Seeker Compressor, Comp Search, Shaman. Ugh, people just going the for, broken ones. for full broken right now. Trainer's Bell, people saying Hex. Level Ball would be cool. Broken Time Space. <laughs> Demon. Turn 1 3 Zoroark. I thought Headringer, but for GXs. Celebi Prime. Laser. Oh, come on. <laughs> Pokemon Communication. I think that would be a pretty poggers. Scary. Very scary. Teammates. Spinning turn, Dom fan, a Vespaquin style card. Flareon, Lucario EX, interesting. Megaphone. Lucario is a cool card. Inbuilt draw and attack was sweet. Something, something, mill, something. Excellent. Steelix, you say? <laughs> oh, here we go. Who's the best official commentator? No, no, no. Puka with a monster 28 votes, obviously. Like look, like look at the variation of this. Everyone knows, right? Everyone knows it's Pooks. Cora, Hockman, Jalen. I get a few votes just because I'm the one making the quiz. <laughs> Someone put the fit one. <laughs> <laughs> Another vote for me then. Jay Witz, uh, Julian, Wisdom, Kibler. But if you meant if you meant Pokemon, then Joe. Kyle Sebhouse, Kyle Sikovic, Nick, Nick Pierce, spelt very wrong, not Rosh, not sure. Who could have gone? Puka. <laughs> That's great. Wait, what? Puka spelt <laughs> with an ER. <laughs> a few, quite a few for Ross, so Ross is like the second. Russell, technical difficulties, Jay Witz, the fit one. Actually, quite a lot for Jay Witz, it's just a million ways of writing Jay Witz. With different capitals and non-capitals. Yeah, I don't know how Russell got one, but yeah, he got one. Best unofficial commentator. Here we go. Benji Hutchings, five votes. Standing out at the top. Azul getting a lot for his own VOD reviews. Yeah. Loads for Benji. Hotman Boogie 2988. <laughs> Jack, for some reason. <laughs> Me? I've never done commentary. <laughs> Kettler, Kurt getting a few, Lydia Hombach, Nick. Omnicat got two votes. Okay, it looks like Russell pretty much cleaned up. And then a bunch of Russ. Yeah, it looks like Russell pretty much cleaned up. Oh, there's a couple of chip at the end as well. Russ getting a huge Yeah, Russ cleaned up though. And yeah, there you go. Interesting. Well, we're gonna be we're gonna be over round two. So in, yes, uh, well, this is today. this is an excellent uh, excellent time to Rage. advertise that we are doing a where are we? Family Fortunes two electric boogaloo. I'll quickly just run down the questions for you. I'm gonna say, do, do you mind? Because I I kind of want to know what I've got to think about. We've got a few things going thing on. So week. obviously now this is we're back to current format. Yes, but it's not all it's not all serious questions. Obviously, we like to have a bit of fun. So far, only 33 responses, so we really could use uh, your help on this, guys. What's the coolest Full Art supporter? Who's your favourite starter from all gens? That's come back. Uh, what's the best deck in standard? What's the best deck in expanded? What's the best budget deck in standard? Who's currently the best player in North America? Who's currently the best player in Europe? Which North American player would be the fastest at 100 metres? Which European player... <laughs> would win a hot dog eating contest who would win a north american royal rumble as in wrestling which uk player would be most likely to legally marry a pokemon <laughs> <laughs> now that cena is hashtag free who do we hashtag free next who is the goat greatest of all time oh that's gonna be an interesting one that's gonna be a super interesting one what was the most broken level X card? What was the most broken prime card? Excluding Pikachu, who is your favorite ex uh, of Ash's Pokemon? And finally, what is the best stage two in standard? So we've got a lot of uh, a lot of mixture of fun and um, actual like content e questions. Free Michael Long. So. 
Tortoise Celebi. Tortoise, Tortoise Celebi. Christ. So yeah, and quickly while we're here, we're also doing a coaching questionnaire at the moment, which has had a lot of responses already. I think. Yeah, I look at those today. It's blown up. We're over 160, but we would still always love more support because it is something me and Jack have our eye on for future and getting good market feedback will be the best way for us to hope to provide the best content. So, Bet Luke could beat Todd in a rumble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, little do you know, Todd's actually had a fight with someone. In t- uh, not Todd, Luke's already had a fight with someone from Pokemon TCG before. Yeah. It's not gone well. <laughs> I, I, I can't remember whether he won. That may be beneficial for him. He can't remember either. <laughs> <laughs> Tragic. Oh. Right, I guess there's still 20 minutes so we can... Uh, we can, can we post the Pokemon. link? I've got the link here. Go yeah, on, no Jack. Worries. Pop it in there. I think this is the one. Yes. Give him Electric Boogaloo and also give him the uh, coaching one as well. Yeah. Did we it? film it? It was before before I started travelling with Luke, unfortunately. He was but a young it's... man. No, it was in the UK. I thought it was in the UK anyway though, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was before I was sort of like mates with them. Buddy We're buddy. Mates, but yeah, yeah. It was a simpler so the... time. The first one is the electric boogaloo, the second one is the coaching one. They literally take two minutes. If you can fill them in, it'd be so helpful for us. Um, and also, like while I'm at it, if you want to submit questions to the Discord or to our Facebook or wherever, we're still doing the Q and A in a couple of weeks' time as well to celebrate two years of streaming. Two whole years of doing this. Getting angry on stream, pieces <gasps> of cardboard. Oh, I always get so excited when I see that I'm up against this deck. Poggers. What is it? Lapras Quag. Oh, yes, we hit a Grubbin as well, busted. Oh, you won. Congrats. I'm just so happy to see that people actually gave a hoot about this deck. Who gives a hoot? Before it was cool, pretty much. Pog, pog, pog. So yeah, what else is planned for the stream next week? So the game stream will be next week. I think we're going to do some Pictionary as well. Yeah, I'll try um, and do um, like last time where the um, the Family Fortunes was just part of like lots of different quizzy stuff. I think I'll try and do different things again. I don't know if we'll do the uh, Make a Meme again because that always took ages. That did take a while. It um, was. <laughs> it was funny, it was... but it took a long time. Yeah, that, so... that feels like it needs to be more of a... A personal game. Yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll try some different features maybe, and have a big long old quiz next Wednesday. As long as it's Pictionary, I should probably start asking people if they're free. Actually. Yeah. Luke Kirkham, are you free next Wednesday? For some shenanigans. Lt Kirkham, Lieutenant Kirkham. All aboard. Let's get the vault. Do, 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 do. I'll ask Alex as well, but he'll probably be playing Fortnite. <laughs> like he was last time. Like he is always. Mm. I don't test. Too busy testing on Fortnite. <laughs> testing my patience. He he does. <laughs> Did you see that I had a date for Nottingham, by the way, Joe? Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Luke Williams. 
working a 60 hour week next week <gasps> well if you're on early we're more than happy for you to pop in and join the crew Laps is up the wazoo. Max rarity Lapras quag. I'm so happy right now. Mm. I'm so jealous. Double cup this weekend. So many de guess how many cups I'm playing it. Two. <laughs> Incorrect. Wait. Why would you bring Delmize up for me? That's just... What? What? Seize the threat. I'm not going to deal with it. <laughs> Seize the threat. Let's, let's we get it active. Alright, <laughs> 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 uh. we're doing some pro thinning strats here, boys. Pretty sure he made a step because of PTTV Radio's lap press video from today. Oh, oh, Benji, that is harsh. Really? <laughs> I actually didn't know. I didn't know Offset Blazer today. Can't be surprised. Oh my god, we can't actually attack with our dumb eyes. We actually have to use switch. Incredible. Oh, Memphis is the event where they're doing the charity 8v8 thing, isn't it? Ooh. Sweet. This is the opposite of Poggers. This is not Poggers. Prize two lightnings. No, prize three lightnings. Three. <laughs> what a mess. Uh oh. That's not good. Okay, let's slowly power up the Dalmise. Slowly, slowly. So we prized three lightnings, two Vika volts. Pretty insane. And a grass. And yet. Prob's still gonna win. Probs. We could get ice beamed here and actually have no answer for it in our hand. <laughs> Which would be absolutely poggers. <laughs> God, this deck was so fun. <laughs> Wait, he, just, he just ultimated away a Kakui for a Lapras when he has Brooklet already. And uses a Cynthia, which tells me he must be Ice Beaming this turn. Poggers. And then just found a Choice Band anyway. <laughs> what the hell? What's going on? Huh? Why? Wait, what are you doing? Why do you do these things? I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah, see you later, mate. You cannot win. I have the baton. The baton. Give me that Jolteon. Can we Can talk, talk Sylveon 3.0? 3.0. Wait, what? Can we? Should we? I mean, I've 
not tested Sylvie on for a long old time. Did you ever? I think I had like a week of testing it. Huh? Never enjoyed it. Oh, this is the opposite of a good hand. Can we not? <laughs> the third version is too advanced. Luke, do you want to be a babe and PM me what changes you'd make to the list for this weekend's cups? Because I'm considering making one change. Um, I know Luke said he wanted a stretcher. Yeah, well, I'm considering either stretcher or Zygarde. Right, it depends how much I want to tech for. Mill shenanigans. 3.0. 3.0. I don't want to have to tech for it, but across two cups, I wonder how much I'll see it. Just play the Zora build with the Zygarde. Busted. I want to stick to a deck. Yeah, stick to that one. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> From now. Uh, wait, what? This is Coco Greninja? Wait, it's Swampert. Holy. I don't know why I have, have these rubber bands with me. I keep playing with them, though. Get out of here. Is what? What you... What? Thinking more if you do everything. Hey, I innovated the list this weekend. I made one change. It's a good one. I thought it was a good one. You played one less supporter. Yeah, I played one more Rockruff. One less supporter sounds pretty bad, Jack. I was never supporter drive. Personally. Get you. But, anyhow. Embarrassing. Do you regret not playing cargo? Of course. <clears throat> I did badly. <laughs> I regret a lot of things about this last weekend. Do you regret, regret playing the deck in general? Yeah. What do you think you would have done better with cargo? I think I would have done better with a lot of decks. It's just that I only gave time to Zoro. Mm. Wish I'd committed time to other decks. Batons. What Baton did I play boys. it from? But I played. Oh my god. Uh, not even a lightning energy. Uh, I just can't be bothered. Um, I played Zoro Weaval Bennett at Frankfurt. And did poorly. I went four two three, which ain't great. <clears throat> Doctor Strange Love. Oh my God! If he's playing Sylvia, we can show him the Plan A of Rayquaza winning. I mean, <laughs> mm. yeah, it looks like Sylvia to me. <clears throat> Oh, Luke, you're right. Okay. Let's grab a tapu. We have our um, let loose. We already have a grub grub. Grub em. We 
we have some playable cards. So we're going to Lily for seven. This would be a good time to use Steven's Resolve. It would be. But it's few and far between. Putting two Grub Grubs down is a big old threat for him. Let's pass. Metal goggles. Stream is super delayed. That is embarrassing. Just refresh. <laughs> the full art Jasmine looks so weird. <laughs> Why don't Marshall to hope he whiffs Fairy? Because it's better for us to let loose on a turn we hit him in my opinion so hope that he whips hope that he whips fairy max potion pokemon pokemon or pokemon if he hits pokemon that's still fine plus at the same time you're also um what do you call me potentially ruining myself as well uh wasn't what i was going for Yandy7, thanks so much for the sub, dude. Welcome to the Little Jimmy Club. Thank you so much for the support, my dude. Uh, we don't need to nest ball anything out. I might treasure, but I might want to keep them for... Uh, keep them for Marsha later. So I think we're just going to nest ball fail search and go for the Cynthia here. I mean, I could Lele for guaranteed Vika as well. It's not bad. We need to hit switch card anyway next turn. I don't mind it. The only bad thing about this is we may be sacking our use of let loose. Oh my god, I'm actually so bad. We The Volkman doesn't get us a thing because that's not an auction ball, is it? It's a different ball. See you later. Embarrassing. I need to focus and stop talking and stop playing with little Jimmy all the time. <laughs> Good god. So mm. bad. I just gave up our let loose space for no reason. Embarrassing. Well, they scoop. Why would they scoop? They ribboned! They ribboned and scooped? Wait. Well, that makes no sense. Okay. Couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle it. Couldn't, he saw the lines of bench the Lele for Volkner, then Cynthia, and he was like, mm. nah, this guy's <laughs> on another level. Mm. Yeah, cheers, Luke. Oh, he means Lycanroc. Lycanroc man. Beastie 28. What a beastie. Mars was prized. <laughs> Must be it. It's a good hand to go second on. Actually, it's Zora Rock. They can pick off our one grubbin quite easily going, uh, going first. On turn two. Depending on how good their start is. Oh, it's the good old Zorro Buzz Rock, which makes this matchup way harder, by the way. I 
I do think Zora Buzzrock is a really good deck. The early pressure from the Buzzwalls is just so beneficial. was a pretty good draw, huh? Cheeky. Uh, thank the prize. So do I just lay a second nest? I'm going to Tempest at the end of this turn, so I think I'm just ultra balling for second Grub and going attach Tempest. And if I was going for this line, I shouldn't have benched the Grub in first. I should have played Guzma before any other action. Before Luke tells me again. Just playing badly today. That's also a pretty grim Tempest. Hmm. Hmm. That's not a nice Tempest. All it is the energy cards. Hmm. You want them to be in your deck. Oh, Ross has made a video, and he's used the CCG graphic with your face. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! I'll have to listen to it. <laughs> Why would he not policy the Lycanroc? Weird. I was going to say, Luke, you're savaging people tonight. <laughs> people? Just me? Just me playing oh, yeah. bad? Which is fair? <laughs> attack, attack, die, die, die. Ugh. Ugh, you and, you and your damage. Ugh. Oh, this is what annoys me so much about playing against four of these this weekend. Why didn't they just get hands like this? Well, this is so unlikely. Hands of such crumb. Literal breadcrumbs. Well, this is going to be bad. It's fine. We would have been trying to two shot with a dragon break anyway. like we're in a bit of a pickle. Fiasco Kui, scoop. Never surrender. It's 
fine. We have the baton. Baton. Makes it all okay. No baton, though. We're in trouble. So he's probably just killing this next turn. So I think I'm going to try and spread the energies a little bit conservatively. Voice man lacking rock incoming. That's fine. And by fine, I mean really not fine, but we can't play around it. We need to do like a let loose KO with a Delamize next turn, but I don't see how that's happening. Mm, nah. <laughs> that looks like a stretch. Potentially putting two energies on the Grubbin was the right play rather than one here, one here, because then I could pay retreat the Grubbin and actually get Delamize rolling in a turn. Full price turn, Guzman KO. Guzman. Yeah, that's probably his best route. If he brooklets baby bars and just Guzmas or lichen rocks, this one. Oh, crumbs. Look at that hand. 15 card hand. So this is where we need to top deck let loose. Let loose into Guzma... Ray. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about, guys. Mm, sounds easy enough. Uh, plus, probably draw supporter. No, no. Oh, no, you do. Wait. Yeah, no, 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 because you can't care with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, easy. Top deck exactly let loose into the exact cards we exactly need this turn. That's the out. Plausible. Damn. <laughs> you miss it. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances? I actually don't know what to do now. I thought I was going to hit it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what if it just didn't account for missing, missing it? This is not part of my plan. I'll be honest. You just super unlucky this game, mate. Super unlucky. You top deck that. Kill Rock Robin Wing. <clears throat> he'll he'll be able to KO with a if he kills Rock Ruff with that kind of hand, surely uh Zoroark will be KOing in return. They play B-strings, Luke. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. B-strings. Forget him killing you over two turns. It's fine. 
So, we let loose, and effectively he only has 10 cards, 11 cards, sorry, with top deck for turn, <laughs> to try and uh, get the Lycanroc KO. Only 11. <laughs> to hit one Ultra Ball, one Guzma, or two Lycanrocs. That's it. Plus energy. Plus energy. You're mm -hmm. right. No. no. <laughs> there is hope. Only 11 cards. Yeah. Three outs and 11 cards, boys. Four Take outs and 11 out. cards. Take the knockout. <laughs> I mean, if he gets like and Rocky wins anyway, so just take a knockout. Maybe silly. Just give up, says Waxack. Never give up. Apart from the times I've given up already today. Well, she would comment, don't have the same effect with a 37 minute delay. <laughs> uh, of course, we sent that yesterday. Oh, he hit one of his outs. Embarrassing. So unlucky. But he also needs to have a means of moving this buzz wall. How many Guzmas has he played? Or a Kukui. Choice band. In real time, you guys are asleep in bed. <laughs> Oh, he can retreat and multi-switch, I guess. Oh, he's just doing this. Wait, we can actually win. Hello, cat. We can win. He just needs, he just needs to not have Guzma on Grub Grub or Marshall next turn. With only... One Guzma left in deck, right? Right? Maybe it's his last prize. Who knows? I sure as hell don't know. He probably doesn't know. I hope he doesn't know. We've lost if he knows. If he just goes trading. Smooth trading. So now the out is his last prize is Guzma. Hmm. Or it's in the it sounds, bottom four cards of his deck. It sounds like another of those implausible situations. Has he got Lele? Hmm, true. Yes. <laughs> Crumbs. So it's probably his last prize is Guzma. Yeah, that's our win con. Happy well, with that? We've missed one... We've missed one top deck marshadow today. It shouldn't be too difficult, right? I'm happy with that, you know. Mm, I don't know whether I want to laugh or cry, Jeff. Yeah. I've seen worse odds. He has choice band plus energy. He only needs one flip on swing around. Correct. Oh, God, there's more outs. He's got or, more outs. Or Kikui. Oh, Kukui. He promptly attached that DCE to the swing around boy. So, so Kukui and Guzma have to be his last He traded the Lele. Guzma was his last oh. prize. Please. <laughs> Please. Otherwise, he's toying with you. He's absolutely toying with you. Oh, he kukui He got us. Oh, never lucky. That's choice band. Damn. So close. We were like, we had so many outs to win. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. well, that's that. We yeah, GX'd into good. absolute crummage, and I forgot to Guzma on turn one to try and stop him hitting me for 80 turn one. Whoops.
Detonated. Absolutely detonated. So that's that's absolute crumb of a list. <laughs> um, oh, see us see see us on Monday when we're looking at some successful lists. Yeah. Good luck to everyone going to the regionals this weekend, or any cups or whatever. If yeah. you're more local, uh, I'm gonna be going to Reading. Jack, where are you, where are your double cup this weekend? Uh, Norwich on Saturday and Harlow on Sunday. Sweet. So, so if you're there, come and say hello. Yeah. And that'll be it until Monday. Got a few videos coming out. I'm I've got a free weekend, so I can uh, hopefully get some recording and stuff done. Get some background stuff for the set review done in time. So lots of exciting stuff on the way. So yeah, see you guys.